And we are back with another session of the Corinth campaign. Welcome um, to the big titty goth girl. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is not what's happening. Um, anyways, agree to disagree. Previously, uh, well, previously on, previously on Corinth. Corinth. Do I need my radio voice for this now? <laughs> um, yes. Do I do. No. Um, the lot of you had doing your normal morning routines, getting things kind of started up in the day, ended up God damn. meeting up at the initiative. Um, <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? I can't what get my is... intro. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Go ahead, sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, going through the your normal morning routines, kind of getting some stuff done. Uh, Cesare getting some information about uh, some things that the others had already had um, before getting to the initiative and being sent on an errand by Dutchman, who wanted you to take the f four? Yeah, the four newest initiatives to uh, the hospital to get a kind of routine checkup done so they could finalize their citizenship. Why the fuck is that in chat, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> God damn it. I gotta put my voice mod in front of that so I don't get distracted again. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, <laughs> as you guys were there, some of you kind of trying to get to a certain individual by the name of Jonathan Steins, um, uh, an incident occurred. Um, you all discovering that uh, sometime after leaving and not being able to get to him that he had been uh, disposed of in some ways. Uh, after that, all of you disbanding, kind of going your separate ways as the day ended. Um, and the next morning began. What the fuck is happening in the chat? Sawfish? What kind of fish, though? <laughs> fuck you, Rob. <laughs> fuck you. Alcohol alcoholics don't run in my family. They, they drive. drive. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I said Evan like seven of them. Anyways. <laughs> Apartment complex. Nah, bro. They're actually pretty simple. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> We're gonna start with Dusk <laughs> for this for his day. Uh, Dusk, uh, after not making your way to the initiative that the the previous day, finding that you had been busy taking orders and doing other things for the black market that day, um, your day does start a bit on a more sour note than you wanted it to. As... Don't be my meat in the morning. <laughs> You, you had really received a letter first thing in the morning uh, saying that uh, pretty much giving you the news that Jonathan Steins had been murdered recently, as in the day before. The one that you had actually wanted to try to go and see along with the rest of the party had wanted to see. It. <laughs> so that was who we were. We were trying to yeah, see. That was the guy who had been injured by the knollish creature that had been spotted in the mountains before... <clears throat> um, being hospitalized and when the other party tried to you were you would you had heard that he was murdered in a very gruesome manner okay um do i know he's at the hospital uh you know as he was at the hospital he's in pieces oh yeah he is That's right he is dead. But at the hospital so no it's the next day you guys would have just he's at the morgue yes. so he's been taken from the oh. hospital since i i presumably to like the morgue or something yeah. What was left of him, at least. Uh, okay, he was... Okay. Hi. Um, yeah, I, I guess... Uh, I don't have any other information on the task at hand, do I? Of, like, the, the wolf and shit? Nope, you've got no information about the white wolf. You've got no information about um, the disappearances that have been happening. You have nothing. Okay. Um, do I know where the others are, or is it just like you know that the initiative seems to be a place that you all seem to run into each other? Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, I guess I. Oh shit! Am I dusk right now, or am I? 
I would say this morning you would be dusk, just because. Okay. I feel like during... oh, they still they. I don't think they know. Some of them don't. Really no, you passed out, and everyone right. kind of was sent. Be careful out. though, Evan might uh, reveal that. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, ladies, um, calm down. Yeah, I'll, I'll head to the. I'll head to the initiative. Okay, what time in the morning do you think dusk would normally wake up? Just um, to get an idea of timeline. Well, yeah, it'd probably be pretty early. It'd probably be like eight, seven, eight ish. Damn, that's early. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, early for, I mean, he's, I think considering night, that he's typically going to be more, like, you know, it's early yeah. for him. He kind of goes all through the night doing his shady business. Okay, I assume Flint's doing his normal thing, checking around, seeing what he can, what work he can acquire this morning. The huge. You would end up getting sent to the initiative as, you know, nothing's really happening. The hospital, they can't really... When you show up there, they're still in a bit of a rush of, like, trying to figure everything out. So, like, no one really was able to talk to you. Gotcha. So you'd just been, you kind of just let yourself out, and the mayor was nowhere to be found whenever you got to the town hall at the time. Okay. So uh, you... I'll just head to the initiative then after yeah. those two areas. The two that are at the initiative, what have you done this morning? I want to know. Does that include me? It would be Jucifer and... That's a fantastic and, question. Uh, not Jucifer, L Luther. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Luther and uh, Lumac. Um, I think I think uh, Tutter would be testing out one of his new abilities. Okay. Been... I think he'd be, go he'd be trying to find someone in a dark alleyway <laughs> to test this fucking thing on. We'll get to that in a minute. It'll be early hours in the morning when you try this, but we'll get that to that in a minute. Uh, Lumac, what have you? What would you have been doing this fine morning? You already know what I'm doing. You're walking around, and then you're gonna go be the Walmart greeter. <laughs> of course. Awesome. All right. Good to know that Lumac's doing. He the goes same to thing. Waffle House, completes his shift, comes back. <laughs> he's he's the uh, the two a.m. to six a.m. shift. <laughs> That's the most fun. It's the best shift. Um, it's the only time to go to Waffle House. Uh, okay. I did that in Atlanta once. It was great. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> that was fantastic. Um, I know. Okay, let's. Uh, Cade, how would you have started off your morning? Good morning. Um. <laughs> Probably late. <laughs> probably late? Okay. Slept in a little bit. Probably a little tired from the events of the day before. Um, I can Perhaps. Back. Yes. Uh, oh, Saul. Hello. You'd be back at the, uh, the Mulkin Manor. Of course. How are you spending your morning? Uh, well, you know, I, I've realized I've been neglecting my character's main role. So do I have any cases? At the moment, week? no. At the moment, no. Okay. Okay. Um, your people um, have been really good about not getting caught right now. Good, good. They're doing their job. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to go get some coffee. Uh, maybe maybe a bag of blood. Stir it in, and uh, kind of just just wander, wander the uh the state. Okay. Wandering around, kind of early in the morning, you do see a couple of, you know, typical mob members kind of sitting around in the various living spaces within this manor. Um, most of which kind of greet you as you pass by. Um, you do at some point as you're kind of wandering around, um, you do know that Chains enjoys kind of sitting out on one of the balconies with the radio. That's generally the spot that he hangs out at. You do hear his radio kind of playing some morning news of sorts. Um, I don't know if it would be Cesare's voice on there at the time or not. Um, 
Uh, Paul. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he sounded like the fucking sound clip. <laughs> the whole whole. Uh, that was beautiful. That was that was. Does that was, anyone else seem to be awake? Um. If you just keep wondering, if you don't, you would find I, that I, uh, Weasel would be downstairs, kind of in the main kind of living space, kind of. He's looking a little better than he did the day before, where he was in his kind of beaten up state. Um, clear, clearly still a few bruises. You can actually see that, you know, under his eye, you can see a little bit of like light swelling that's still happening. Is that it to the the group? We got like four people. No, no, no. There's a bunch of other ones. They're just not. That I just worth don't mentioning. know. They're not worth mentioning. Okay. <laughs> so what okay. Just side characters. I'll I'll go I'll go sit out with chance listen listen to the morning radio okay as you kind of make your way you're just gonna abruptly come out he's just kind of sitting there his back kind of to the doorway uh i'm just gonna knock on the, the frame and uh you know you mind if i join it kind of glances back to you kind of a the, the typical look that he usually gives um and he just says uh why not? And he kind of makes a gesture towards the uh, the other part of the railing. The, the radio kind of sits on... So this balcony you're sitting on. Um, semi-circle is shape, kind of on, like, the third story of this building. Um, the radio, he has it set pretty much dead center on this railing. He is kind of on to the right side, leaning against the wall with, like, one foot kicked up over this railing, the other kind of dangling off the edge. Um, but yeah, he gestures to the other side of the railing, uh, opposite of the radio. Um, I, I will, I will lean up against the other side of the railing and then I'm going to, uh, summon my briefcase, which has my little journal notebook. Journal, I think, would be a better term for it. Just yeah. jot down some of the information from uh, the previous night, as well as the whole uh, we're looking for, or I'm looking for white canis with blue eyes, yes. possibly connected to all of it. Just, just journaling while we'll listening to the radio. Is there anything in particular uh, being said? As you're doing this, you do hear over the radio, uh, kind of a recap of the events of the day before: murder within the hospital. Uh, police haven't released details on how the individual was killed. Um, they have released that it was, uh, the one that you had been looking for, uh, Joseph Steins. Um, and talking about how the police are currently searching for the culprit, but have no leads of any kind on who possibly could have done this. And, uh, oh. Oh, is Chains going to say something? No, Chains is just kind of... He's just listening he's to this, and you see him kind of... As he's kind of sitting there, you see him... You, you can tell he's clearly intrigued by this. There's kind of a look on his face that he's like very intentively listening to this radio. But he is not... He's just kind of staring out over the city, like beyond the walls of the manor. I'm going I'm to wait for the, uh, the little broadcast of the whole murder to end and then just say uh, I was there a few hours before the uh, they found the body I was supposed to go visit him but they weren't letting anyone in hmm it seems like you know how to find trouble mm, more than more than usual as of recently I I blame it on the recent group of uh, characters that I've been traveling with. He kind of gives a shrug and he says, uh, "Well, do you know if any of them need to be?" Uh... And he kind of makes like a snipping motion, like as if using scissors, and just kind of says, "Cut out of an equation." You know, you can ask me. I don't think that's 
necessary yet. Um, however, you have men to spare. I'm sure there's a few guys that the boss is willing to let do things outside of what probably is planned for today. Oh, it would be more than a day. You, if possible, if the boss gives it the all clear, maybe tailing them. They are quite an interesting group. Uh, a few of them seem to be hiding a little more than they want to let on. He kind of chuckles and just kind of he glances towards you and just says, "Who will, who isn't in this town?" Ah, that's what makes it interesting. And then he'll write the names down on a piece of the paper, tear it off, and give it to him. And just go. If you need a description or more details, just give me a call. He nods and takes the paper. Just says, "Uh." The boss doesn't have anything for me today. Consider this done. If not, I'll get on it later. I doubt there's much that I'm going to have to take care of as of now. I'll I'll try to uh, aid in some of that as well with one of my familiars. But I would prefer to hold on to that and in case uh, something else comes up. He gives you a nod and just says, uh, I'll see if there's anyone that can help, but consider it done. And, uh, question. I'm going to start heading towards the, uh, the foundation, but, um, is there a morgue along the way? Um, it's closer or to the it's hospital. Cemetery? It's, it's a Cemetery would be on the very edge of town. Um, there's two cemeteries. There's one that's more, it's kind of between the slum, or it's it's more closer to the slums, but near kind of port side of town. Uh, the other cemetery, which is more of kind of the richer families of this town, there is one that is more towards the, uh, towards central, kind of in on the edge of town behind central, essentially. How how much time would it take to either hit the, the morgue or one of the cemeteries and then go over to the group? How like how much would it set me out? The morgue would be closer to the hospital, um, to the medical center, and it'd probably delay you if you're just going there. Like if you're going in there and doing stuff, it may delay you up to like two hours. I'd be going in there and uh, using my little uh, rise, my companion. Yeah, so you, about it. Either that, all right, then it'd be about I, two hours of like, because it would take you probably about an hour to get there. Um, through you know, oh, sorry, it'd take you like thirty, forty-five minutes to get there. Doing the process would take about thirty to get into the morgue itself. Um, and then you know what? the rest of the time would be That's going to too much. If I could find a cat along the way, I'm going to kill it and raise it. Problem solved. I will let you find a cat along the way. Actually. All right. Yeah. Can I name them? Cat, cats are not hard. Um, let's roll me an attack on this cat with whatever weapon you have. I have a gun, whichever one you're willing to give me, but... Don't you just or have a 9mm just... pistol? Isn't that the gun you have? I'm pretty sure that's the standard. Yeah, okay, hold up. I need to pull up this... Jesus Christ, what are the stats on this bullshit? It's like a plus 2 damage. We're rolling with the plus 2. You no, know, it's not. You don't roll with that. You just roll Let's Fight roll, which is your... Uh -oh. It should be strength unless it's... Um... Unless you have something that makes it something else. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea if I Let's do. Let's look at your abilities. I don't think I do. No. So yeah, you just roll with your strength, so you have a negative one. So roll yeah. 2d6 with a negative one. 
I don't know how to give it a negative modifier, but I'll write um, a 9. It was a 10 originally. You would hit the cat. In the process, though, is uh, you fire at this cat. You kind of hit it kind of in... It, it's definitely a shot that will kill it in the end, but it does before kind of dying manage to kind of scratch, you, scratch at you, uh, and you take one point of harm. Okay. Which, All right, I'll live with that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's think, that's doable. Now I'm gonna roll my uh my race the companion and see what happens. Yes. Mm -hmm. My my faith is coming in handy. <laughs> Sorry for going gremlin mode. Apologies. Easy, easy there, Yoda. Fuck. That was a little. That was a little feral there. Jesus Christ. All right. Brad. Um. Seven plus, I think I get plus two. Yeah. So nine. So yeah. Seven plus two. Nine. You raise it and it will obey you. Ah, I have them for a week. Let's go, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Oh, wait. No, that was a different thing. I was going to. No, this is just. I don't know. How, how long do I have? Is it just until I make the contract? No. Yeah, so big, I could have yeah. one at a time. There is no time limit. No, oh, yeah. Hell you, yeah. They're, they're permanent companions. You just have to disband them if you want a new one. All right. Um, I'm going to... I have I have a special command for it, but I'm going to start making my way towards the initiative. I'm going to get him to... Uh, I'm going to just wrap it up so it's not dripping blood i don't know if that's it still is so when, when you it's when, raised. so in the i'll describe this process when you do this kind of holding your tool above it and kind of chanting the words the summoner's phrase that would you would use to do this um the body of this cat itself the wound itself almost seems to close not like a hundred percent but it like it seals to the point that it's no longer bleeding and takes on more of a you know, like, zombies have, like, closed wounds, but, like, they're not closed. Like, there's flesh in the way, but it's not, like, bleeding at all. Okay. And am I able... If I give it a command, because I know I don't have the ability to speak to it, because that's, that's a higher tier thing. But if I give it the command, you know, like, those dogs with the buttons, and they'll press them? Yes. It will follow something like that, yes? Yes. It is. It is. Okay. It shares your intelligence in the point that it fully understands what you want from it and can do does anything. Does it share you any it. of, like, what I. If I were to say a person's name, does it know who I'm talking about? You could give it a description and it would understand. Okay. All right. Or just, I'm making sure I, I clear up a bunch of stuff. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um,. Cool. I will send you what I'm going to have it do, but I'm just going to head towards the initiative now. Okay. Okay. Um, any voice? Uh, who have I not done? Cesare. But I think he's still... Is it my turn? Yes. Okay. Okay. What we got? Where are we starting from? Um, this fine morning, you haven't heard anything from Almora. You haven't heard anything from the others. Um, Damn it. I need to talk to Almora. You do know that she's probably busy at the moment with the recent event that has just occurred? Yeah. Uh, Cesare was probably going to stay up all night, cracked out of his mind, trying to figure out who done it. Okay. Yeah. Because he so literally, he definitely knows that he wa he was walking or was with the killer during you know, or at least prior to the event. Okay. So you, if you stayed up all night, you'd be a bit tired this morning. You've definitely done full nights before, but you are, you're a little on edge. Um, I'm okay with being exhausted. Yeah. You, I'm not gonna make you exhausted. If it comes to a point, I might give you a debuff, but we'll see. Um. But, yeah, you are a bit tired, um, kind of, uh, you, you don't really piece together much of anything at, that night. It's just, it's a lot of missing pieces, you're missing a lot of information. You don't know what it could be that's 
There, there's something that doesn't add up, and you just you can't put your finger on what. But this would kind of go into the point of, like, you realizing the sun has risen is, like, how long you'd be up doing this. <laughs> Fuck! It's my, it's my morning glory! <laughs> Alright, well, time for morning mimosas. You go <laughs> to the diner that knows your, your order? Yep. Alright, you head to the diner. Upon entering, uh, you do see a couple of the staff kind of turn and start preparing things and as you, as you make it to your usual spot at the kind of the counter um one of them ends up sliding the normal cup of coffee in front of you um kind of greeting you with a warm smile before going off to uh take someone's order are there any messages on my phone at the moment you um the only message you have gotten is from butch who is telling you he wants as much information about the recent events as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine like the Spider-Man speech, but about a murder. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. I want pictures of this fucked up shit in the hospital. That's pretty much it. That's 100% what it would be. <laughs> yeah, ratings, ratings. I got you. Okay. He's all about his ratings. Hmm. Okay. No, yeah. I guess while I'm sitting here, you know, spoon in my coffee, twirling it around, uh, just still going over the events. Um, it's definitely not something mob related, because why would the mob want to? Well, anyways, yeah. Why? Why would the mob want to try and kill this man, especially in such a gruesome way? Uh, there's no way that, at least for the most part, it doesn't feel like anybody. Uh, that I was walking with did anything specifically. The only th th the only three people, well, the only two people that keep coming to mind are Dusk and Cade. Dusk because he wasn't seen anywhere at all whatsoever um, during the day prior, and Cade yeah, because not be here, not be suspicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and this Cade is just because well. <laughs> you know Cade is you know he has the reputation behind him. Well, you, you, the, explain to me the reputation thing, because I can... Or, sorry, it. not reputation, just the constant prejudice that Kate has against him. You, 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 you have, in your head, he's always, a, he's always could be someone that's doing something because, okay, I yes. understand, yeah, yeah. Especially with the Casamia history, um, building the city up, not necessarily, well, we can, getting, building, building the city up, not entirely solving most of the city's problems, yeah. things like that. Focusing on areas that aren't really of concern. He's, he's a racist. He's a he's a he's a he's a, he's a suspect, but he's not like there's no clear way on how he could be a suspect. He's just yeah, on your mind. exactly. It's just like it's it's literally like I well yeah, he it, did disappear. Which he, did all, I know? Or did all you guys did know? Did, all all you knew was he was in the front foyer of this, or not front foyer, like the, the lobby of the hospital, mm -hmm. and you guys left him there. And when you came back, he was still there. You cool. don't know that he went anywhere else. No, we had asked where was he, and he said he went to the bathroom, which was I in the lobby. Don't remember being asked it, anything. Yeah, it was it was in the lobby. So like he was he was still there. It's just like okay. his story checks out and he had no signs of lying to you at the time. Did I rolled a perception to check for blood, though? There was none. OK, Tyler, I'm not I'm not I'm not metagaming. I don't no. don't you dare start yelling at me. I swear to God. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> something what? about all of my characters. You know, everyone kind of has that one itch in D&D. &D. Mine is just always got to be racist to dogs. <laughs> oh my god, you hated my character in the wildest I mean, just For some reason, racism to dogs just comes immediately to every character I have. It's, it's just an itch he has to he has to fulfill. Any 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 character, dude. Dog Is that racist. Real life character as well. Yeah, absolutely. No, I love dogs. Oh my people. god, Michael Vick, a big fan. Michael Vick, big fan. <laughs> <laughs> any any time there's just a, like a dog race. I, I hated Tyler's character. Oh, I guess I didn't hate your character, but no, you're, you're, you're we, we had a rivalry and we didn't like each other. 
Yeah, but but yeah, it's just dogs apparently. That's my one thing. Anyway, sorry, continue. That's pretty funny. Yeah, those <laughs> damn dogs. Damn Go canines back to... too happy about everything. Fuck. <laughs> Go back to the kennels. Oh, Ian, if you don't like dogs, I have the perfect character for you. His name is Dog Welder. Oh, it's a furry. <laughs> it's a, it's a <laughs> dog welder. Dog Welder is a character in DC Comics that welds dogs to people. That's, That's terrible. Horrifying. That's terrible. No, I, I love so dogs. All, that all is dogs some Eldritch horror level well, shit reason, right there. Every time there's a dog character, I just immediately like throw blame or throw some sort of like hatred or just just some sort of racism towards dog characters. So. <laughs> if they're a female, can we call them a bitch and it's fine? I I wouldn't recommend it, but you know. <laughs> um. Anyways. After finishing your your meal, sir. Um, I don't even want to think about that picture. Uh, where would you like to Actually, go? Actually, you know what? You know what the the biggest crime that the Casamias ever committed was? Uh, making a monorail system and making it so that only the rich neighborhoods could access it. There's Wait, no, there's no, monora- there's no monorail system. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Wait a minute! Did I did I do that? <laughs> Just... there, there is no monorail <laughs> system, bro. <laughs> no, I'm making I'm making a meme because oh. of Wisconsin. Shut up. Oh, oh, that blew over my head. Unfortunately, Milwaukee I, moment. I I don't I don't world news. Fuck. Uh, anyways, <laughs> what would you like to Fair do enough. after you uh, finish your coffee? Um, let's see here. I guess. Well, let's see. All my shots are... Sh- well, let's see. I've already had my shoots, so those are finished. Um, if anything, I just need to get more information about the stuff going on at the hospital. Uh, definitely learn more about Jonathan Steins. Um, I guess, what would be my first step for investigating Jonathan? Or just, like, getting to know what he's like? That's up to you. So mm-hmm. what race was Jonathan? Jonathan was human. Oh, not human. He was, he was, sorry. Jonathan was a vampire. Vampire. He looked human. Okay. He was a vampire. Uh, let's see. How much do I know about him already based off the police report and stuff? The police report that you've probably been able to get from, uh, Elmora about it. Um, he was someone who enjoyed camping, which was something that was said by people who knew him. Um, he okay. has two points of contact. He has a friend of his, um, though there is a note that the individual is a little hard to get a hold of. Um, and the other was the person he often bought kind of outdoor supplies from. Dear God, delete that from my chat right the fuck now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> get that out of my chat right now. I can't, I can't even look at my left monitor, bro. Holy it's, fuck. It was horrific. It is that is so bad. It's so bad. Um, it's the first thing that pops up when you type in furry. God damn. Good. Um, Sounds about right. Anyways. Uh, oh, God. I'm losing my train of thought. Stop flashbanging me with pictures. <laughs> um, oh, God. Oh, no. Now he's sending VR chat shit. <laughs> Please, for the love of God. Um, okay, that's that's okay. He's I can work with that. Uh, <laughs> um, the other contact though is someone who often has sold him kind of outdoor equipment. It seems that Jonathan was someone who enjoyed spending time in the mountains, collecting things. He seemed to have been a novice forager. He'd go out and collect various like mushrooms and berries and other herbs and stuff like that, and then try to sell them. Um. Hmm. Okay. Based off the police report, or I guess, well, how how many people have the police started? Uh, I guess interrogating. I'm guessing they've only covered the hospital. They have. So for the main case, which you wouldn't, or the current case, you wouldn't know anything about yet because it's fresh. It's literally That's less fair. than a day old. For the previous okay. attack report, um, you do know for him that like he was found on the edge of town. He seemed to have dragged himself from the forest in a like bloody <clears throat> mess. Um, and when they found him, was unconscious due to blood loss and was barely alive. Okay. 
Yeah, I want to go to the hospital and just start. Well, I'll go to the hospital in casual dress. Start asking people, you know, you know, dumb fucking reporter questions. Uh, and if I get the chance, I'll definitely sneak off and try and sneak out uh, some of his hospital records. Okay. So you will classic being, criminal. Yeah, you you <laughs> you no, classic <laughs> reporter sneaking into places. Um, I I said that. <laughs> No, I get it's, it. Called, it's called yeah. journalistic integrity. <laughs> I have a duty to my fans. I mean, ah, he's viewers. a duty. Uh, Shut the duty. Fuck up. Uh, Any duties on his fans? Hey, yo, uh, <laughs> yo, start the smear campaign. Oh <laughs> already so does smear it. and duty on his smear. fans. Yeah, I heard him say that. Bro, he's smearing people. God I don't damn. Duty on my fans. <laughs> Anyways, um. Okay, you get to the hospital. Um, you do how, find... how many other reporters are there? Or am I the only... Um, arriving, um, you do see that... Uh... I'm trying to double check. Are there any news bands or anything outside? There is two other news companies that are here at the time. Though they seem what to be called. Um, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to name. I'm, I'm not. I'm not naming them. You just. You know that. You know their rival companies. Damn it! It's fucking Channel Six. Sure, we'll go with Channel Bro, Six. Bro, it's Fox News. God damn it! <laughs> 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 oh channel God. Seven. <laughs> um, Channel Seven. You do see though, that they're they're kind of being held outside by kind of police, kind of trying to keep reporters from getting in. Okay. Um. Typical. You do see one or two cops, kind of like, who is hot miking? Oh, stop! Yeah, now. it's it's getting bad. Um, who is hot miking? Is that me? Someone was hot miking, and I could hear myself, and it was bothering me. Uh, you do see there are two cops, kind of like checking people as they go through to make sure that there isn't uh reporters trying to sneak through, make sure that there are actual people trying to get in for appointments. What about, okay, can I try, should I just start rizzing the police officers? Do I see any of them that I know? You've definitely talked to some of these guys. They know who you are. The police department okay. knows who you are. You are a popular face. Hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to walk in front of the other news reporters and just start rizzing my way through. Be like, hey guys, sorry, I have some uh, important business here. Uh, you know, just, you know, trying to get out the news, you know, just do my job, be a, you know. Nice, a good nice. reporter. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know. Let's uh, let the let the the city know that there's possibly a monster in our uh, in our mists. The the one yeah. of the two kind of steps forward. A uh, werewolf individual, um, kind of just says, he's he's like, I'm sorry to tell you this, but we can't let you in there right now. We're still. Hey, nice conditioner. He pauses, kind of almost flustered for a moment, just kind of like by the sudden question. He's just like, excuse me. And he pauses. He's, Kind of gives you a look. I'm just saying, it's nice, nice conditioner. You know, you got the, you got the nice, you know, main and stuff flown on there. What do you uh, use, Selson Blue? Personally, I'm more of a Dove user, but I don't know. Hmm, I'm more of a Head and Shoulders gang. No, yeah, I have a whole article about, uh, you know, bath stuff. Uh, if you check out the Corinth News, uh, you can read all about it. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, there's a uh, Almora is supposed to be seeing me, so if I could just like get in there, you know, that'd be that'd be cool. Want me to manipulate others' role? Okay. You know yeah. the uh, SWAT van's empty. <laughs> roll to see how good you can get head. Stop. <laughs> that <laughs> that stop is an interesting. Uh... Moving furniture. <laughs> um, this is a mo fucking uh, like uh... seven. <laughs> Seven. Okay, let me check my notes. Um, where the fuck is it? I need to open the player's guide to double check exactly what you're doing. Here we are. It is. Ish kibish. Um. Actually, wait. Sorry, it's a six. It's a six. Yeah. He kind of. Kind of shakes his head and just says, uh, he says, Almora didn't tell any of us that you were supposed to come. 
do not come. Because I can't, I can't <laughs> let you in, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, fuck. Um, <laughs> look, come on. Car? Look, <laughs> look. She might be coming in a little bit late. If I can just get in there, like you know, I can do my thing. Uh, you won't have to, you know, talk with your superiors. It'll it'll be nice and easy, nice and nice and quick. He kind of lets out like no paperwork. an irritated sigh and just says, "Look, give us a day. Come back tomorrow." She's not here. She's she's already upstairs right now. She's not. Does a crisp Washington change your mind? <laughs> hmm. Think about it. No paperwork. Free head. <laughs> that she'll make you come. <laughs> I can't even fucking think. Um, you guys are the fucking up, worst. Got, 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 got <laughs> you guys are Come the on, goddamn man. worst. I've been moisturizing for weeks now. I'm just the uh, fruits of my effort. You know what I mean? Right! Stop it. <laughs> you know that, that Kylie Jenner uh, girl? She got them lip fillers. I got some too. I'm going back to this. <laughs> Anyways. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. You think that can hold us back? No, <laughs> I'm just praying to God that it does. <laughs> what hey, we keep praying. It made me hornier. Jesus fucking. And I just like, <laughs> can I just like whisper to him like, hey, come on, man, like, don't. Uh, I'm trying to show these guys up, like, please, <laughs> don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Don't embarrass me in front of the wizard. Uh, <clears throat> he says he, he kind of he he's starting to look a little irritated by this point. And he's just saying, look, as we've told everyone else, no one's getting in here unless you have an appointment with one of the doctors. This is an active crime scene. We need to keep everyone off of it that isn't involved. Okay, as he's saying that, I'm just going to go on my phone and say, hi, I'd like to register a doctor's appointment. <laughs> he is fuming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, my appointment's here, so I'm just going to go ahead and get past you. The other uh, police officer steps forward, and they're both kind of blocking you from getting in. It's like, whoa, hey now. Hey I have now. a really sick cough. Bring I, your, I bring your lawyer. You, you, could, you could call for your lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my rights are being infringed this upon. I am allowed to go in that nudge, nudge. <laughs> there, are, there are lives at stake here, sir. Wink, 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 nudge, nudge. Yeah, that's actually uh, what he's going to say. Is, is that a threat? <laughs> no, I will have my lawyer, sir. Look. Name, do, the, do the name drop. You either do can the leave name here, drop. You can either leave here on your own terms, or we can take you down to the station. You guys don't want to do that. We don't, but... We will. Jedi mind tricks. Do I do I invoke his name? <laughs> do it. Will it summon it. him? Will it <laughs> Tyler? Do Tyler, it. Tyler, if I do it, will it summon him? Do are it. You, are you talking about Saul? <laughs> yes. You have to physically call him. <laughs> you have to call me and I will drop everything for a case. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I pull out. Okay, I I look at the fucking card that he slipped me the other day, and I start <laughs> dialing his phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Cops are still standing there looking. the The other one is now looking irritated as well. The first one is like red in the face at the moment. Like, is is the phone ringing? The phone. How long do you think you'd let your phone ring, Saw, as you're walking towards the initiative? If someone's calling me, I, I would, I like, would answer it. Half a ring. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah Have your nice. conversation. Uh, Saul, good fellow here. Can I help you? Saul, so, hey, buddy. It's, uh, it's me, Cesare. Um, you think you could do me a solid? I, I mean. I've been eating five I've, years, I've, so had probably. A, I've had a little bit of coffee this morning, so I don't know how solid it's going to be, but, you know. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. what's up? well, we're having one of those uh, gassy little mornings here. Uh, I'm trying to follow up with 
you know, more of the uh, the Steins case. Uh, I'm at the hospital here, and the police are uh, infringing upon my rights, actually, as a reporter. I'm allowed to be inside the hospital. Um, however, they believe that uh, uh, locking the gates and uh, keeping it, you know, away from us vultures, so to speak, and I look at the, <laughs> I look at the police. He is, uh, he, is burying <laughs> his, he is burying his teeth, and you can hear a low growl coming from him. I just, hey, Cesare, Cesare, no, no need to get, uh, you know, vulgar here. I'll just put put me on the speaker. I'll be, I'm, I'm heading my, heading over right now. I could do a little Yui, you know. Let's see what we could do. But put put me on speaker real quick. Wonderful. I, and by the way, I hope that I have a flip phone instead of an average like smartphone. Oh, if you want a flip phone, you have a flip phone. Yes. <laughs> I have a jitterbug, so yeah. yeah there's a jitterbug and flip phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I would think I have a smartphone, but that's just me. You can have. A I uh, I put it on speaker and I uh, <laughs> I like shove it in the face of the police officer who's closest to me. <laughs> okay. He doesn't say anything into it. He's still growling. Uh, morning, officers. Uh, who am I speaking to? They tell you their names. I'm not going to make names on the spot. All right. I'll, I'll call them uh, Chad and Brad. All right, gentlemen. Uh, you, you know what? How, how rude of me. I apologize. Where's my manners? The name's Saul Goodfellow. Uh, you see, uh, my associate here was uh, following up on some information, a quest I had for him. He was supposed to be speaking with the uh, some head captain, correct, Chesre? Almora, yeah. Yes, yes. She, he was supposed to be speaking with Almora. We're getting some stuff together. It may, it, it's connected to one of our other cases. Um, if you fellows don't mind, uh, the the victim, you know, let's not use names right now. I know it's all hot news and everything, but he was also a client of mine. So it would be really, you know, Nice. Yeah, I'd greatly appreciate it if you let my associate through so we could go speak to our uh, informant. So I'll roll and manipulate uh, others. Roll with a negative one to it, though. Are these not the same officers I had talked to the other night and they no, gave me information? Ones. These are different ones. Okay. So minus one. Because they are angry. On... That is the reason. So that's the debuff. They are angry. At them. I have an eight. You have an eight. Yep. Mm, he kind of grumbles uh, a little bit and says, uh, he says, fine, if you're on your way and you have proof that you were the individuals uh uh, sorry, I was I got distracted by something. It's like if you have the proof that he was your client or some sort of official documentation, we'll let you through. All right, sounds good. I'll be there. I don't know how far away am I. You're about ten minutes by this point. Ah, uh, I'll be there in ten. You kind of just mm hmm. Thanks, buddy. Hugs and kisses. And I <laughs> hang up the phone. <laughs> I look at, I stare at the police officers and I say, thank you for your service. Damn. The, the, uh, the, the werewolf gives you a very... Uh, if looks could kill. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. The police don't know how to do anything in this fucking city. The other yeah, one, blue lives matter. What the hell? Yeah, the other one looks irritated, but is not like... You know... What is the word I'm looking for? Um, mad dog in you. Like the, the <laughs> werewolf is. <laughs> um, are you just going to walk away a little bit, though? Kind of, like, stand a bit away? Or mm. just staying in front of them? No, I don't want to stay in front of them. They're not worth my time anymore. Uh, let's see. I guess, I don't know. Is there... <laughs> Can I walk over to the... Well, hmm, let's see. So the other reporters, uh, are they just standing around by their cars or whatever, just waiting for the police to let they're, them in? They're standing like with an officer, and they're like... They, you can clearly tell there's a very heated discussion going on between these news... Uh, these kind of journalists and the uh, officers. 
I'm just gonna find a bench or something nearby, like a street lamp or whatever, and just uh, lean around or sit and sit and uh, drink my coffee. Okay, so you you hang out there for a bit. Um, in the time that we'll do this, we're gonna jump to the others. The rest of you, being at the initiative. All right, getting to the initiative. Um, actually, we'll we'll jump to Luther first. Um, kind of wandering the streets around the initiative, probably more towards the slum side, if anything else. Um, describe to me what your goal is at the moment. I know what it is, but I want it to be described for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, late last night, after w- witnessing uh, the atrocities at the hospital, uh, Tutter became inspired that he was like, you know what, I feel more power seeing this absolute chaos ruin everyone's day (laughs) so uh he felt a new power awaken within him where he's able to hex people (laughs) so he woke up luther real early in the morning to go hex people and cause more chaos and so luther is now begrudgingly walking across down the streets looking for some sad soul to get hexed okay um, <laughs> let's fucking go <laughs> fucking yeah. american psycho moment let's fucking go. so um originally my plan was to show up with the, where the cops were and just be across the street and then um hex them to have testicular torsion but <laughs> it got played out already so i was like all right never mind okay well now i'm looking for a homeless person to hex so they get hit by a bus bro Dear God. Hilarious. Okay, That's so the plan. early hours in the morning, you're wandering about, just kind of doing your thing. Um, you do. It wouldn't be hard to come across someone who is not supposed to be outside. Um, they do look to be someone who's kind of down on their luck. <laughs> at the time, if that makes sense. What? You, what's so funny? Um, no, but I just, I just, I rolled. You know. What did you roll to 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 do this? Uh, well, I um. I was going to ask what modifier do I use for hexes? I don't think it says it on there. If it's the one I'm thinking, it should be arcane. Yeah, let me... It's the witch doctor curses. It doesn't say... Um, it doesn't say what stat it is. It should be arcane. You're talking about the witch doctors... Oh, witch doctor. Uh, it should be arcane. I don't know why. Okay. It, I didn't have arcane in there. That's weird. Um. Yeah, it's supposed to be arcane, like the other one. I gotcha. Uh, I rolled a twelve. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. Um, <laughs> I rolled an eleven, and I have plus one in arcane. <laughs> this homeless person's gonna get hit by a trolley or something. <laughs> wow. Um, that's hilarious. Okay, that's why I was giggling because I was reading through it. And if I get higher than a ten, it's uh, that they get disadvantaged to fight it. Okay. Um, what effect are you doing to this person as they're walking down the street? Um, I mean, honestly, like either sense of madness or overwhelming fear. Uh, I kind of want them to just like be terrified of like to like the visions that Luther has. I'm gonna put into this person. Okay, this person as they're walking, almost seems to, like, abruptly stop. Um, this kind of, kind of middle-aged, uh, I'm trying to think of what race I want him to be. Uh, we'll say he's a fallen angel. Darker set of wings. Um, kind of stops abruptly, he kind of almost backs up and starts muttering under his breath as he is just kind of staring up in front of him um, before he lets out a blood-curdling scream of fear and just begins sprinting down the street. Just screaming and yelling just hysterically about something that's trying to get him. About the earth opening up and yes. swallowing him whole. And he runs out of sight, but you can, you, it's, there's a long moment of just hearing him screaming. And then you hear tires screech and the screaming <laughs> stops. <laughs> just another day. Feeling beautiful. 
All right. Oh, Tutter, I really wish you would not do that to people. Uh, it's kind of not nice. Nah, you don't understand. I'm doing them a service. This is the inevitability. <laughs> All See, right, guys, now I'm hungry for some hash browns. Let's go get some breakfast. You think he's in character, but this is just Rob's internal voice is winning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Demons are winning. <laughs> Me, when I'm driving, I'm just like, yeah, I wish I could curse people. I would I would curse people with, like, the most mundane... Aha, you know, uh -huh, tie shoelace. <laughs> the curse of never being able to tie your shoe properly. I uh -huh. hope you hit. I hope every light you hit is a red light. You trusted I hope you that part. Your pants. You, you trusted that part, but you shit yourself. So let me just tell you something. For the main game that this is based off of, there is a curse called the uh, the untieable curse that makes any rope impossible to tie in a knot. <gasps> I can tie their balls together. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, doesn't it do the opposite? No, it's untying. It unties them. Oh, yeah. unties. Yeah, it's it's the untieable curse, as in, like, you tie a rope together, and it will untie itself within a few moments of being tied. It was, a, it was a gimmick curse that I added to the game that I thought was funny, and it never got to get used, but it was there. Oh, you got some drawstrings on your pants? Untieable. Now you can't take them off, and you're gonna shit yourself. <laughs> Anyways, what are no, you gonna... A, you can... You never tie the rope, but yeah. it, it you keep like your pants keep falling down. <laughs> so what do you what is your uh, what is your plan now that you've cursed someone? Oh, I mean I can't do it again for the, uh, the whole episode, but okay, it's <laughs> worth it. You're heading back, so I you head back to the initiative. Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna head to the black market. You're gonna head to the black market. You're okay. I'd say it'd still be early hours in the morning, so it wouldn't be too difficult to get there. Um. Okay. Um, what are you looking for as you go? Uh, information. Uh, maybe uh, some more work if I need it. Okay. I was going to ask around to see if anyone in the black market knew about what happened in the hospital. Okay. So you, you get to the black market, the normal kind of knocking, uh, hatch sliding, kind of glancing at you before you're let in. Um inside the black market you see some normal occupants within this kind of warehouse um the normal guys that are usually there like keeping stock everything else as well as the overseer who is uh at the time sitting in a chair that looks to have just been brought in uh kind of one leg crossed over the other and seems to be uh kind of counting coins from a pile that's kind of sitting on a small table next to him. There. Uh, or he's counting units, not coins. Sorry, units, which are bills. They are paper bills. Uh, and he kind of glances over to you and just says, uh, Luther, I didn't think you'd be back so soon. Uh, well, uh, something something happened, and I was just wondering if you had heard anything ab about it. Um... I mean, obviously it's not my business, but I it's just, it was getting in the way of my business, so, um... What the kid's trying to fucking say is someone got murdered at the hospital, and we need to talk to him. I did hear about that. Though I don't was have that any, one of your boys? It was not one of ours. We had no business I wish I could take credit for it. Apparently he blew up. There's blood everywhere. Hmm. Popped like a damn zip. It does sound like something you would do. No, we don't have any information, unfortunately, on what happened. Oh, uh, okay. Um, do you do you have any other like odd jobs for me to make some more money? I'm uh currently kind of unemployed. Hmm. I kind of. Puts down the like the, the stack of bills that he has and kind of grabs a small notebook that's kind of sitting on the table too and starts flipping through it, and just says, um, "I have something. Um, there's someone right now who's looking for information about a white wolf. I think it's going to pay pretty nicely if information is shared to them." I'm pretty sure they're part of the ring, though, so I don't know what they're planning. Uh, they just want information about a white wolf? The white wolf, specifically, is what I have written here. 
I know the one that was heard about in the forest. I think that's the one, but I could be wrong. All right, I can go talk to them. I have a little bit of information. How much information? Uh, I, I think I've already told you everything I know. He kind of shakes his head and just says, you need more. Specifically what they want, I think, is identity. They're trying to find this white wolf. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'll ask around and see if I can find anything else. Alright. And if we do have some odd job for you to do, we'll, you know, send it your way as we normally do. Okay, uh, it just, I, if it's a text, it might take me a while. I have to hit each button multiple times, and that's kind of hard because I only have one hand, and it's uh, it's a little awkward. <laughs> he he almost seems slightly amused by just Luther's just inability to have a conversation straight on without any confidence, and just says, "If we send you a message, don't worry about replying. Just show up when it's done." Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. As he starts, is he going to walk me out or not? He's staying in his chair. He puts down the notebook okay. he was doing and starts counting bills again. He says, is uh, there anything else that I can help you with before you uh, head on your way? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. He was just going to stand there a little, like, awkwardly, kind of, like, look around. Kind of rock on his heels a little bit. And Todd was gonna be like, "Hey, kid, uh, this is this is our sign to fuck off." I don't know if you know. <laughs> this this is the moment where we. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he sc scurries out. <laughs> you, you hear the overseer as he's like kind of scurrying off. Is uh, at least Tutter has sense to him. <laughs> yeah, you kind of exit now about those hash browns. <laughs> <laughs> Heading back to the initiative now. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Okay. You make your way back there. Um, we're going to jump to Lumac real quick. Lumac. You're sitting kind of quietly, kind of in the front foyer of the initiative. You know, waiting for someone to come through for you to greet. Um, and as you're kind of sitting there and kind of waiting, um, you get an odd feeling for a moment. As if there's something in your pocket that wasn't there a second ago. Uh, I'm gonna look at what that feeling is. You reach into your pocket, there is a sheet of paper. You kind of slowly pull it out. You see it's written in uh, a language you understand. You know this isn't common, but you, you understand this language. Um, and the note kind of simply reads that, um, I'll, I'm going to kind of give you the gist because it's a fairly long note. The information in it kind of discloses that they want you to, uh, give them a chance to get a hold of the person who just arrived at the initiative a few days ago, the one who was injured saying that if you keep an eye on him and give them a sign, per se, on when they can jump in to try to snatch him, um, that would please her quite greatly. And you do see signed that the, the bottom of this paper is just Grandma. Okay. I'll just put it back in my pocket, I guess. Okay. You slide it back in your pocket. Around this time, as, as you do this, you do catch the smell of breakfast being made. Kind of the smell of bacon, eggs, and biscuits, specifically on this morning. 
coming from the second floor, as you know, is where cooking is done. Um, and probably about 30, 40 minutes later, uh, dusk, you would be wandering up to the front of the building. Uh, not far from, uh, not far behind you, uh, Flint and uh, Luther would also be kind of wandering up as well. Okay. Um, you would you would spot them. They would be kind of down the street from you, but you'd be the first to the door. Yeah. And then Cade, you can you can see that Flint is ahead of you, but you don't see the others yet because you don't see the building. Uh. You just pushing right through uh, the door, uh, dusk. Um. So I see who I see Cade in front of me or behind. You, no, no, no. You see Flint and uh, Luther walking up from two different ends of the street. You don't okay. see Cade yet. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna get in the door. Um. I'm gonna try to kind of push through to rush to see if I could go talk to um. What's his name? Dutchman. Yeah, Dutchman. Okay. You push through the door, uh, Lumac. You see as dusk enters. The front room. And how could I not? How could I not give finger guns to my guy, my <laughs> man? I go to give him the bow, but then I'm very confused at the finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna kind of like look a little confused that he switched up on me, but you know, I'm gonna mimic it. I'm gonna kind of roll with it. <laughs> okay, you both kind of bow to one another, and then you kind of rush off to go upstairs. Um, a few moments later, you know, Flint and Luther, you both kind of hit the door at the same time, kind of walking up to it roughly the same point. You two would like to argue. We're gonna, we're gonna have the fucking social awkwardness of you go. No, you go. No, you go. No, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so who is there? It's you and Flint trying to get in the door, and Flint <laughs> oh, and you no. got it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, here, yeah, no. here, uh, uh, it's, uh, here, uh, I, uh, oh, wait, no, no, let me, have you, uh, I, hey, I, have you, have you played Snake on the phone? The, it's, it's actually pretty fun. Uh, <laughs> I, I completed it, uh, uh it was the first uh, level, it took me like a week. I, <laughs> I, I, I could make you a Snake. Oh game. my god, this is my hell. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Tutter, Tutter, uh, Tutter's had a little, bit, uh, a little of a, a morning. I had hash. I want hash browns. All right, I'm getting angry. It's, it's okay. Okay. Um, I guess we should go go get food. Uh, well, aren't we here for Dutch Dutchman? That too. I mean, we need food. Um, I saw a homeless person get hit by a bus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <in the morning. laughs> I need some apple juice. Uh, I, I feel Does like Dusk hear any of this? Him. He's saying I oh. hear like some get hit by a bus. Tutter's like, yeah, I caused it. <laughs> yeah, boy. You you wouldn't have heard any of it. Um, oh. Lubak definitely hears all of it muffled through the door. Um, <laughs> Just too autistic. People just like, uh, 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 I, uh, come uh, uh, on, here, uh. Uh, tis a uh, one out Luther's, of this. Uh, Luther's response is just to trauma jump and to dump at any chance he gets. <laughs> Literally. Okay. Can Flint would just kind of be like, uh, okay. <laughs> And he'd just be like, I can see what food we have. And like, open the door and just fucking run through. <laughs> like, give me give me one moment. Walk. Give me one moment. Um, stupid, stupid. All right, the donut or the applesauce? <laughs> applesauce. No spoon. Give me a moment. You I'm, don't uh, like I'm, I'm waiting for something. Um, give me a moment. Oh, I got a I got a That's good a line for the next person I have to trauma dump on. It's gonna be fantastic. How <laughs> it, it do you get down. inspiration? It was a nine. Okay. Uh, which one are you using? How do I get inspiration? Yeah, for the trauma. Um, zero. It's, it's the one that <laughs> locks doors. Okay. Okay. 
Um, you go to open the door, Flint. Uh, it's locked. <laughs> it was uh, it was unlocked a second ago. <laughs> it's locked now. <laughs> I'll just kind of like look to Luther, look back to the door, look back to Luther, <laughs> look back to the door, <laughs> set my bag down, and pull out like a makeshift um, lock picking set and go to pick it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stand next to him and kind of crouch down to see. I'm just uh, gonna be like, um, I, I like your shoes. Um, perform under stress. Mine, <laughs> mine don't, mine don't have oh, laces. Uh, yes, I, mine, mine don't have laces. I'm, I'm not allowed to have laces on my shoes. Anymore. You know what? Because um, it's your character, <laughs> negative one to perform distress as well. Because you are overwhelmed right now. <laughs> yeah. So I found I these Velcro ones. The They're kind of nice. But they were a little expensive, yeah, but, but I found them when I was thrifting. <laughs> um, but I, I wanted the ones that light up, but like, I couldn't find any. And they didn't have my size. I have a weird shoe size. It's like a, it's, I'm like a nine and a half, and they don't have nine and a half. So they only have like full sizes. <laughs> and I don't have any socks to match. Like all of my socks have holes in them. Would you roll, bro? So does does the negative one counteract my plus one? To yes, it does. So no? you're rolling a straight roll. Uh... <laughs> oh, ten. You lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna put that up. You, you, you. Within seconds, you open this door. I I just like I'm just like yeah uh, I like light up stuff too. <laughs> Clink. All right, cool. I just fucking open it. And just, <laughs> <laughs> You, you know, you know when someone runs in a cartoon, there's a cloud behind them. That's just that's it. That's that's fine. There's but, a, there's but a... it's just, he's not running. He's walking just really fast. Power walking. Yes, he's a super mom. Yeah. Uh, Lumac, you you see Flint pick the lock and open the door. I bow to him. I'll kind of like while I'm running, like give a slight nod, like in his direction. Okay. Uh, Luther, you follow behind. Yep. Do you bow to him as well? Like this. Of course. I'm gonna stop and, and give a quick a quick little wave. <laughs> and, um, and just be like, Oh, so Dutchman took away my scissors. Um, <laughs> he gave me safety scissors, but, like, I don't know how to use them. They're, like, really awkward. <laughs> oh, you want a butterfly knife? Um, I don't, I don't know if I should. And then Tony's like, "Oh, absolutely." Yes, keep talking. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll give you my butterfly knife. <laughs> okay, Tony's gonna grab it with his fucking little paws. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I can't open this thing. I just wanted it, you know. I'm, I'm oh, a little I bit of a kleb, though. I, I don't really need it anyways. Oh, perfect. Okay, Luther, can you put this in your pocket? I don't really want to touch it. That's, like, dangerous. And, like, I'm not supposed to have sharp things. Uh, not to break it through. You have a gun on you, Luther. I feel like that's, like, a little bit more dangerous than truly. Okay, you copy there. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna take the knife and put it in his, co uh, put it in his pocket. Okay, you now have a butterfly knife. Congratulations. <laughs> Sick, I guess. <laughs> um, I was okay. given a lighter and a fucking. <laughs> I was given a lighter and a butterfly knife. You're, All I you're need gonna... is like C four. <laughs> okay, um, Cade. As you are walking up, you do see the two of them kind of stand there for a second before you see Flint kind of dart in after the door opens, and then uh, Luther follow behind. Uh, you going into? You just gonna follow straight in? Yeah, because I didn't hear any of that conversation, so I'm walking in like it's another day. Yep. Cade walks in. Blue man? <laughs> what the Heart fuck? Ass <laughs> what kind of cheeky <laughs> ass fucking song was that? <laughs> is that, a, is that what sounds like I was at a luau. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a Lumac uh, greeting. <laughs> he starts playing the ukulele. 
<laughs> he just he just opens his mouth and it starts playing. And you're like, what the fuck? It's it's that uh that Caleb City. It's that bit. scene from it's that scene from Lilo and Stitch where he puts his his nail on a vinyl yes. record and he opens his mouth and yeah. plays. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Lumac Cade walks in. Yeah, I bow to him. Okay, I will bow back <laughs> with a slight smile on my face. All right. And we'll do it in order for all of you as you each go up to try to find Dutchman. Um, The first person, the one who got there the quickest, Dusk, as you kind of go up, you do find... um, You find Dutchman walking down the hallway with the the white-furred canis that you had seen injured the first night. Um, The individual kind of has their head down a little bit. They're kind of near the end of the hallway as you kind of come in you see they just exited the room that probably was assigned to this canis um you see dutchman kind of talking to him as they kind of step out and then they both kind of go i don't do i recognize this canis you saw him unconscious and injured the night the first night that all of you met each other oh okay that was the dude that was was that the dude in the hospital that no, this was the dude that was in the medical room that uh, Dutchman has that he had patched up. Oh, okay. All right. Um, does he look out like deep in conversation? Does he look? Well, the conversation kind of ends once they get out the door, and you do oh, see okay. this individual kind of. He's he's dressed in kind of a uh, like a hoodie. Let me, let me find the exact picture to give you the full description. The kind of this like black hoodie. Um, Head kind of down, ears kind of pushed back, almost timidly. Um, dressed in a pair of kind of... Uh, it's kind of like brown shorts of sorts. Kind of like the khaki shorts. Um, yeah, I guess so. I'm just going to approach him. Um, approach them and see uh, if, if he doesn't initiate, I'll, I'll initiate. Kind of wait for him to notice me, I guess. As I Dutchman kind of glances up as... He, they start making their way towards you, and he kind of raises an eyebrow and says, uh, I didn't expect to see you this morning, Dusk. Yeah, apparently I'm gone for one day, and the whole world goes to shit, huh? Apparently. So, what exactly happened while I was away? And before you answer that question, what is with some of the wackos that were in your office that first day? But they were back here yesterday, believe it or not. I believe it. So, I, okay, okay. First of all, I got some information. I know you wanted me to look into some things. I looked into some things. But first, let me go back to my original question. What happened? He gestures to the uh, the, the canis to kind of wait for him, kind of off to the side. And he kind of, he gestures for you to follow him over to his desk. And okay, I'll, with his, I'll, I'll his he kind of leads you like behind the desk, and like he almost spreads his wings out as if to block visibility. I'll kind of like, muffle the sound, kind of mirror. and he just kind of says, um, "He says apparently someone was murdered at the hospital yesterday when the others were there, as well as when some of our uh, newest members of the initiative were also there." And I'm trying to... I'm just as confused on what happened as you are. Information is a little scarce at the moment, and the police haven't told anything to the mayor. Of course not. Why would they? Just about as corrupt as we were. Okay, um, do we... Do we know this person? Do you know this person? Do you know of this person? The only thing I know, and this is what I have heard from one of the investigators on the case, is... It was an individual named Jonathan Stein, something, some feral attack victim of some sort. You're, I know you're gonna kind of see because I think Dusk was. Um, you were informed. Because Dusk was in. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, he was in the room whenever it like they came, and then he passed out, and so he he's kind of kind of it's gonna be hazy, but he kind of recognizes the name, because um, obviously not full memory. Um, but uh, he's going to kind of, like, I guess, t- 
take be taken aback by that name and just kind of shrug it off. So he, he's gonna say, um, so you said vicious attack? That's what he was in the hospital for initially, and now he is as I've what little I know has been reduced to no more than a pool of meat and blood. Great. Two for one special. So do do you know where he was attacked? The hospital. Or are you talking about before well, the uh, hospital? Clearly that Dutchman before the hospital. Mm. Yeah, before the hospital. He just says Somewhere out in the woods. That's all the information I have. So he was attacked fairly savagely out in the woods. Well, we also have something that is attacking people savagely out, I'd say about near the woods. Do you think there's any connection? Possibly. Someone was cleaning up a job they tried to finish. Yeah, it did... Did anyone get a good look at the wounds prior to him being hospitalized and post-hospitalization? I have no idea. Uh, I'm still waiting for that information from my contacts. Well, I guess I'll be one of them. I'll, I'll look into it. I'll look into things. And about that, I guess, information you wanted me to find, and he'll hand out, hand you like a jotted down notebook of like information that he kind of found from contacts and such. He takes the notebook from you and kind of begins to flip through the pages. It's it's not really much, but it's enough for now. And if you need more, I guess I'll keep going. It's kind of intriguing at this point. Um, A little bunch of yours seems almost connected in some sort of way. I'm not quite sure why. Well, anyway, some... um... Oops, sorry, guys. He just, he just says, at some point, this will all make sense. Sure, so I hope so. Anyway, do you, do you have anything else for me before I go find those whack jobs? Uh, as, as you kind of ask that question, uh, the next person to enter the room is Flint, who not quite barrels to the door, but, like, does make his way in as he just kind of turns to you and just says, no, I don't at the moment. Um, if you want to follow that lead, go for it, but... Other than that, I have nothing for you. And he's gonna. What? Did... You you don't you don't hear this, Flint. Uh, as you come in, you okay. see that Dutchman has his wings spread, and you also see Dusk is doing the same, almost blocking themselves from the set, the third individual within the room. You see a uh, kind of at the opening of the hallway on the right uh, from the staircase. There is a white canist that's kind of awkwardly sitting there, kind of hands in his pocket, head kind of down. He ever so slightly glances towards you, and then his eyes immediately shoot back to the ground. Gotcha. I'll just kind of walk over to Dusk and what's his name? Dutchman. Dutchman, thank you. Okay. The... Dusk, Dusk will look over at you and go, well, if it isn't the medicine man himself, let's just, uh, just think about you, buddy. Yeah, it was a little weird yesterday without you, um, but we did get a, a little uh, in, info, so. Yeah, yeah, info. That's exactly what I want to talk to you about. Oh. So, Mr. Hospital, can you um tell me anything about said incident that happened yesterday? Anything ringing any bells? Well, it it's the case where uh, I I was uh, I was going for the medical records, and um. His medical records said he's been catatonic since he came in. Um, other than that, no visitors, no visitors allowed. Okay, uh, okay, okay. You know, stop here. There he goes. Okay, did you look at the body post post mortem? Wasn't allowed to. Ah, <sighs> that's. Fine. Did you look at the body after he was apparently brutally murdered? Uh, no, I, some of the group that we knew um, were over there. I ignored it. The sirens hurt my head. Okay, so the medicine man doesn't know anything. Well, I appreciate it, my mask-wearing friend. Um, is what, what else might have happened if you'd like to fill me in? I kind of had other business to attend to. Luther Watkins. He kind of like, he kind of hits his head for a second. 
can tell he's a little bogged down by it. What'd you say, Tyler? I said Luther walks in like as you were saying this. Okay. Tyler. Said, oh, would... Oops, I guess. Sorry, just to ask. Uh, for last session, did did Flint ever realize that what's his name was missing? Or no, no? nobody knew. Nobody realized no, it because he was in the lobby. You guys left him in the lobby by himself. And then when you came back That's... and you asked him where he'd been, he said the bathroom, and there was nothing that told you he wasn't in the bathroom. Right, yeah. Because I didn't even bother to do morality. There was no reason to. He, All right. Yeah, he had Sorry. he he showed no signs of lying, so that's that's all I was asking because I don't remember if he noticed because it was him and Kazir, Chris's character and Saul. Chazier. You were getting me syringes. No, because Saul was talking to Flint the entire time, but I know Kaz, Chris, Cesare, Cesare, Cesare. Okay, Cesare. It's like, like Cheeseburger. Off, but Chesbury. I didn't know if Flint realized. Because you, I remember you were you said something about noticing them back, but I, yeah, I don't remember it. You were all you were all at the hallway, kind of all in this hallway, kind of at this yeah. desk, the lobby being behind you. Was getting medicated. You had noticed days. that you had noticed that like Kate had stepped back into view after you guys had finished your endeavor. It didn't mean that he yeah. left the lobby. It just looked like he was out of sight, and then he kind of just like stepped back into your yeah, yeah. I stepped back into your view, and it was just like oh, he's That's he's fine. been there the whole time. Tyler, uh, Plus, Flint would have no reason to believe anything happened between them two because yeah. the ambulance came like afterwards. So. Yeah. Off, uh, off topic. Are we still level one? You're level two. Oh. Sorry. Oh great. I, okay. You're I fine. Just, you know. yeah. Just, just pick an ability. We'll do and, that later. It's, yeah. Uh, it's fine. Um. Yes, yeah, so he's he's gonna. So Luther walks in. Dusk is gonna go. Uh, it is a Ratatouille himself. What's going on, big man? Hey, you fuck you. I got a fucking butterfly knife now. I ain't There's pretty. That piece of shit spirit I like. And uh, what's happening, Luther? You, you see, as you said, I'm uh, pretty good. I made too. a homeless person get hit by a bus. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. Dutchman is just rubbing the bridge of his nose. Just who gave him? Like, Apparently, he... somebody somebody outdoing me. Because that dude in the hospital room fucking blow up. There's blood everywhere. Yeah, I heard about that. You uh, oh, exploded. Get a glimpse of what happened. <laughs> He exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you a butter knife, Tutter? <laughs> I I ain't no snitch. He He's shakes it. Kinda... Luther's, Luther's like looking off to the side, like. <laughs> he's kind of so... he's he's mad dogging Luther right now. <laughs> he's kind of looking at his shoes. He's gonna look at uh, Luther Tutter, and uh... oops, sorry, go ahead. He just says Luther. Yeah. Who gave you the knife? Um, I don't have a knife. <laughs> Roll me a fucking act under pressure or perform under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's not a lie. He does not have a knife. Technically, Tutter owns the knife. Yes. I, I just I I want Luther so... to see how badly like he breaks down if he does. <laughs> <laughs> Tutter owns all the possessions, and Luther has to ask for. <laughs> ask for, borrow, ask for borrow. Basically, yeah. Uh... <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> Luther is having a panic attack. <laughs> He's always having a panic attack. Yeah, it's, what's new? It's worse. He's attached to a demon that tried, like, like loves killing people. Let me give you. Let me give you the text on what happened. Everything goes wrong. Do what you will with that. <laughs> What? Right. <laughs> Perform under stress. Everything goes wrong. How does how does Luther go? Everything goes wrong for Luther. What? Um, I I think Luther throws up on himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll I, do you I one think... better. He he pukes and then immediately just face plants. <laughs> I feel like I feel like he would. He wouldn't. He wouldn't like bend over, puke. He would like burp up and get on his shirt. Yeah, th no, that's what I'm thinking. Like, opens mouth and it just kind of rolls out, and then he just kind of collapses on the ground. <laughs> Gross. Dutchman so, just kind of now rubbing his the bridge of his nose again. Just, oh god. Listen, I'm not saying it was me. I think it was the Nash reference. <laughs> <laughs> 
And around this point, should... the last member <laughs> walks in. <laughs> we should we should have stopped at that tienda and get some fucking chorizo sausages. Yeah. And Cade walks in now. Cade, you walk into a uh, unconscious Luther and oh not Luther, unconscious <laughs> yeah unconscious Luther. Why Tutter is talking I'm about unconscious? Hash, not quite unconscious, what? but like semi conscious. You're you're on the ground. Have you ever seen someone stress faint before? Motherfucker, I've stress fainted before. What the fuck are you talking about? That's what happened. <laughs> you're not quite unconscious, but you're not quite there. <laughs> he's just dissociated from reality. Yes, a bit. he's like laying down <laughs> in his own vomit, just kind of just. I'm gonna just smile a little bit, look at Dutchman, just point at Luther, like what? <laughs> He just shakes his head and just says, it's it's not worth explaining. And he makes a gesture to someone that's on your right, and as you turn, you see the uh, the white Canis, kind of head kind of down a bit, staring at the ground, kind of hands in his the pockets of his hoodie. The individual kind of glances towards Judgment for a second before uh, slowly making his way towards the elevator. As he passes by you, Cade... There's a strange sensation you get in your chest. And at like just as he passes you, he seems to stop. And you get a feeling he's having the same feeling. And I'm gonna hmm? uh, Wait, what are you gonna do? What are you saying? Oh well, I'll I'll finish what you I'll let you finish first. As you you feel yourself instinctually kind of glance towards this individual and he seems to do the same before kind of tearing his gaze away from yours and then quickly making his way to the elevator. Um, a very, very slight whimper coming from him as he does this. When I, I want to say when I looked at him, it was like a look of confusion, like why did he stop right next to me? Not the, I'm trying to completely ignore that feeling. Uh, perform under stress. Okay, what is that? Uh, is that it would be, con yeah, your composure. I... I need to grab my dice. I didn't grab it yet. Bruh. Sorry. <laughs> I got a... I need to see my abilities first before I say a number. Push you have plus two composure. Yonkers. I got a plus nine. You got a nine. Okay. As you kind of do this, um, that, that like second, half a second of time that both of your eyes make contact, you do catch something feral for a moment within his, and you feel inside of yours the same kind of glimpse ever so slightly. Facially, you don't express anything. In the eyes, no one else would be able to see this except for the two of you. And that, that is what, why you seem to think he is, you know, now even head down more and whimpering as he goes to the, the elevator door and the elevator opens. I'm gonna... So, is it clear that he's whimpering to everyone else? It is very quiet to the rest of you. It seems more of an awkward thing to the others. Um, they don't know exactly why he would be whimpering other than, you know, he seems to have been very awkward in the situation as a whole. I'm going to just have the slightest amount of confusion on my face as I look to Dutchman and then wipe it away and say, so do you have anything for me today? Dutchman, as he kind of steps into the elevator and just kind of glances and just says, um, nothing for you today unless the other, the four that you took to get their citizenship have anything they want you to do. I'm taking care of, uh, Oh, God. I'm taking care of Ryan. And he gestures to the canis, and the elevator doors begin to close. Right. The rest of you, now you're all standing together. There's no NPCs with you. <laughs> oh, boy. 3 a.m. Santa's coming to town. Um, I'm going to speak to, to uh, Dusk and say, so where were you last night? I had, um... Uh... Matters to attend to? Probably the best way to put it. 
So, uh, what uh, exactly happened, boys? I heard John had quite the uh, eventful day. Unfortunately, they didn't let us up, so. So nobody got a good look at what the man looked like after, well, I'd say after death, but kind of died twice. What, uh, what race was the um, the person? Tyler? He was a vampire. Uh, you can't just ask that. I asked that in the beginning of the session. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the uh, stick to the heart wasn't the only thing, was it? Weird. Oh, uh, no, there's a lot of things like running water, thresholds, stakes to the heart, garlic, crosses. You are an enigma. Let me just tell you. Ain't that right, Tutter? He's just going to look at Tutter. I don't know what that word means, but <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> oh, you are crazy. Anyway, so nobody Thank out you. of the group got a good look at him before or after. No, because Tutter over here was trying to get fucking prescribe 17 different medications for shit. I thought it was I thought it was a disease. Sorry. I thought maybe it was leprosy. I don't know. I don't know what leprosy is, so I thought maybe Okay, so next person, uh nobody else, nothing. No, I don't believe so, unfortunately. Great. Okay. Did you um... ever get go out into the woods? Look up those uh cases well i uh, how do we say never really got around to it um was uh dealing with some stuff but, yeah, the uh, stuff as an alcoholism i saw my alcohol hey <laughs> you know me i was there I, too buddy he's gonna go try to like kind of kind of like give him a high Dap five up. But it's, like, <laughs> tapping up a puppet like, well, amen brother i'll drink to that all right um <laughs> He'll kind of scratch his head for a second, and uh, I guess it'll be kind of awkwardly silent. And I'll go, all right, so who's up for chasing a legend uh, into the woods? It's like that's our only lead right now. Uh, um, I, I, well, I, I already agreed, <clears throat> so. All right, Funky Bunch. So does anybody have Maki any Maki clue? The funky Bunch. <laughs> any clue where we should start? No. Uh, uh, yeah, first things first. Uh, we should leave the building. <laughs> Damn, that's Ooh, fucking cutter. crazy. <laughs> Just trying to help. We'll try uh, researching some right. of the places outside on the forest. Uh, okay. Get serious. I, from one of my sources, I heard that the man was, how do we say, mauled in the woods? The catatonic state he was in was because of some attack in the woods. And I think it What's just like? might be connected to what we're trying to follow. Not quite sure. Shouldn't really have to care, but here we are. Anybody? Do you opposed? know? Uh, nope. Do you, do you know where that place in the woods is? I think I might. Well, if I don't know, I could definitely find out soon. Okay, well, it looks like we're going on a little adventure. As per usual, I have one little oh, stop. But does anyone have take bug me. spray on them? I don't want to get bit Luther, when we're out there. I swear to God. Yeah, mosquitoes are a real pain. Anybody got bug spray? Going once, going twice, sold. Let's go. And Hold on, how many people of... are at the initiative right now? Everyone but two of you. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I, can I roll a perception check? To, to, well, I guess I kind of noticed it. You would just know that there's two missing. Okay. I, I but know I know, I know who, the two that are missing, though, right? Yes, you would know who they are. <laughs> is it is it Lumok and Cesare? Or is it oh, sorry, there's three missing. Lumok, you know, is downstairs. Yeah, uh, I knew that. Oh, He's God, I just, I just noticed how many whispers I just got. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Um, so Cesare is missing, and so is Saul. Uh, Saul is missing, yeah. and Cesare is missing, yes. Okay. 
you get DM'd by Luther on your new cell phone. It's a three day long video essay <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> you get a text message from Luther that just says, lol. It's just it new took him three days to type. Yeah. <laughs> you, you see Luther typing. And then you put your phone down for five minutes and pull it back up and he's still typing. He's just stabbing with the butterfly knife into the phone. Like... You see him uh, type for five minutes and he just sends the semicolon and the three. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, okay. Um, would we, would I have somewhat of a clue on where Saul is, but I guess not. When when leaving, by the way, you could I call him. To go up to, uh... Uh, I do have his business card. Evan, why do you sound like you're across the room? <laughs> it does sound like he's across bed. the room. <laughs> I'm laying in my bed. I got ED. All right. Dusk is kind of <laughs> Dusk is gonna um kind of put up his finger and tell the party to hold, and he's gonna pull out the business card he has, and he's gonna dial up Saul. Do you have a phone? Yeah, I do. Okay. Who can have a phone? It's a smart. Oh, I have a jitterbug. We can play the ringtone that should be played. I I got this. I believe I have a smartphone, right, Tyler? Yeah. If you want a smartphone, bro, it's not going to give you any tactical advantage. <laughs> like... uh, it's just a cell phone. It's just a cell phone here. Dusk, Dusk is probably just going to have a burner. I have a jitterbug. Um... <laughs> we know, Luther. <laughs> we know you have a jitterbug. Um, <laughs> right, he's going to call up. Uh, he's going to call up Saul on the phone. He's playing Snake. He's on calling his phone Saul. Here. What? Okay, so we're gonna ju- call me. Where gonna, would I yeah, be? Yeah, we're gonna jump Actually, to the other two real quick. I better, better call Saul. Be? At this point, I feel like he'd be arriving. At- <laughs> that's, that's my ringtone every yeah, time. Yeah, this is the ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I better call Saul. We're gonna jump to the other two while you, before you make this call. Um, Saul, you arrive on the scene. You find uh, Cesare kind of sitting on a bench not far from the entrance. You see two cops in front of the front door of the hospital. Uh, other cops kind of scattered about. You see, uh, by this point, the heated arguments between the two reporting groups and the police have kind of subsided. You see the other reporters kind of getting into their vehicles, looking a little pissed, um, and begin to kind of drive off as you kind of make your way up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna approach... Cesare, <laughs> and just go. All right, we have a we have a bit of an issue here. All righty. Hey there, bud. Good morning. He takes a swig of coffee and goes. So the cops want the documentation saying that I have legal representation over, uh, you know, the the fucking puddle. Um, I got papers here. I'm gonna scribble some uh, stuff down on there. Well, we'll be, you know, shooting shit with the cops, or whatever, and uh, you just hit my coffee mug. All right, make sure it gets on the paper, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see. I mean, I'll whatever. I just need you, to get in there. You have, uh, you you quick with your hands. Yeah. I don't. I uh, trust me. I'm. I don't swing that way. I'm just asking if you can grab their keys. Whoa. I yeah. I got it. Okay. Cesare's like, I'm I'm not I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm not gay, bro. What, the fuck? <laughs> what 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 makes you think I'm gay while he's in a feather boa and like a fucking funky jacket? <laughs> and his shirt says I am gay. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he has he happy. has a pride flag uh, uh, tied to his back like a cape. Dude, I just like rainbows. Come on now. Come on, don't, don't make this a thing. <laughs> don't, don't make it a thing. Don't um, make it gay. Come on. It ain't no fun. Right, yeah, yeah, you catch what I'm saying here. Worst case, I don't know. We'll figure some other shit out. Uh, it's too goddamn early. You ready? Yeah. Have you talked All with right. the others, by the way? I may not have to be here. If, you know, if they've already learned about where we're going. I mean, we know where we're going. We're going on a camping trip, but, like, we don't know what to expect. I, you know, I don't know. I'm going to let you let you land on, on something here. Uh, don't really give two 
flying fucks about the camping. I am more interested in how this body got mangled. Well, yeah, we have to go camping in order to see what's going on. That's kind of the whole, you know, one, two. Yeah, step. but the, the camping is one issue, but I don't think this null, you know. One, two. Got a taxi, two, two, came bro. over to the hotel, and then uh, decided to stop by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's something, someone else. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, do you know if any of the others have the like hospital records? I know Flint could probably get something, but I really want to take a second look myself. All right, so we're on the same page, which is why we need to get through that front door. <laughs> There's something fishy here. I agree. Yeah, I don't smell any fish, but yes. Yeah. Fish Someone's market's down fishy. on Second it Avenue. Ain't, it ain't just it's, no He's going to look around for some lizard people or like fish people and just, you know, to double check. But There are no fish people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there aren't? There's no mermaids? No. No fish people? God. What kind of campaign is this? <laughs> There's no black Ariel? What the hell? What the freak? God, okay. You ready? Yep. Alright. I'm just gonna so, mention Elmore's name like 50 times and see what happens. Can you remind me of the name real quick? I'm blank. I, I, I don't have my notes up right now. So, Jonathan. okay, it is Jonathan. Alright. All right, let's let's roll. I'm gonna start walking towards the. Is it the, uh, is it the same cops that are at the front? Yes, they're still uh, do there. Do I recognize? Uh, is the cops I had talked to the other night here? No, they are not here. God damn it! All right. Okay. Just you, walking you. Up. Yo. Good day, officers. Uh, mind letting me through? I have my pass, and of course, I have my representation right here. And I uh, pull Saul to my side. Morning, gentlemen. It's all good, follow. How you doing? It's shitty morning we're having. So you're the lawyer? I mean, looks around. Yeah, I, I'm the only one here. Does the Pope shit in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird question to ask, bro. <laughs> no. um, the answer is yes. He, or the, the cop kind of gestures uh towards your briefcase and just is let's see oh no i don't have the briefcase in my hand it's yeah he just gestures to you just like uh, let's see those papers then but yeah sir he's gonna snap his fingers and get the briefcase up open it up uh, a couple couple business cards you know falling out just can I just go. can I just like pull up my phone and like show the conversation between Almora and my and myself to the police if you we do that at the same stuff. time? Sure. Just, you start showing one cop. I'm going through. Um, is the like the guy leaning over at all into my briefcase? He's he's you know taking a gander. <laughs> all right, now he, I'm, I'm shuffling through the other files. He goes, all right, yeah, yeah, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Ah, there it is. All right, and he pulls out. I had, I had written, I, I had done prep. Yeah, he has he is the the papers, obviously, legal documents. He's like, all right, Jonathan Stiles, what do you need to see? You need birth record, agreement form, confidentiality, payment. What, what do you, what are we talking here? Let's see agreement form. Agreement form? Okay. One, which page? We got a couple here. And he's he's holding like a stack. I need proof of his signature that you have worked with this client before. Well, I'll just hand you the entire, you know, little, little cluster here and you can take a gander at what you want. All right. And it, he's going to start, so he's going to close his briefcase. He's holding the papers one hand, coffee in the other hand, and puts the briefcase down. And he kind of just takes the papers out from under his arm, starts showing them over, and he's gesturing with his like pinky holding the coffee, and the other hand in the same hand, just gesturing. He's like, "All right, this is basically the the terms and conditions of the contract, uh, uh, lawyer, uh, client confidentiality agreement, the whole spiel. You know how it works." And he's just gesturing over, kind of looking over at <laughs> Cesare, waiting. <laughs> Okay. 
I'm just going through the papers. He's kind of nodding as you kind of go through these papers. I I have. Do I have to roll to see how good my forged signatures are? I would say. And second question: Would I have done this enough in the past that I get anything? Let me look at your. Let me see if you have abilities here. I have vampiric charm and silver tongue. Hmm. You can and try to per- you can try to persuade him they're real. So the manipulate others. Yeah, I'll let you do manipulate others. I'll let you do manipulate others. Sorry, I had a close. I had not a close pin. I had a uh, chip clip <laughs> that grabbed my tongue because I'm playing with it. <laughs> chip clip, interesting. You know, little All clips right. you put on your your like bag of chips right. so they don't go stale. I got an unnatural. Oh, I thought you said chip clint. I was like, what? You got an unnatural twelve. Yes, I got a nine plus the three. Wow. Your your paperwork seems pretty pretty damn good. He seems to the kind of anger he had before seems to be kind of you know it subsided for the most part, and he's like kind of seems a bit more approachable by this kind of a bit more like with this like okay this this seems legitimate um before kind of handing you back the forms and just says all right i guess everything looks to check out uh cool thank you for letting us do our job anyways and i'm just going to start scooting past him i while he's scooting past and be like if it's any closure to you what we're looking for here won't be discussed with the public. I'll make sure that his information doesn't get straight sent straight to the news media. This is still technically under the documentation. We have to keep it to ourselves for the moment until you guys deem it necessary. You know, don't want to get in the way of your job. He kind of gives you a nod and says it'd be better for all of us if that's the way it is. I had talked to one of the uh, other officers last night, came by the scene. Is it true? There's nothing left? Nothing distinguishable. Damn. That's a shame. Mm, so young. All right, and he's just going to walk in. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of notice as you kind of go in, the two cops kind of give each other a look like... Uh... This day can't get any weirder. And uh, you two enter the hospital. Um, around this point, Saw, you get a call on your phone. As you kind of, and you both get into the lobby, you your phone begins to ring. Uh, do I recognize a number? I don't think Dusk has ever called you before, so I'm going to say no. Actually, we don't care because Chesare called earlier. All right, yeah. we're we're answering. Okay, Dusk, prepare for your uh, your phone conversation. Dusk. Uh, this is Saul Goodfellow. Who is this? Dusk. Damn, you know you you you're choking on something there, bud. You you, you yeah, had one of the clubs. It's going demonic. Oh. Ian? Where did he go? When the world needed him most, he vanished. I was good talking to you. (laughs) He hangs up. (laughs) He was walking. (laughs) Ian? I could hear him off in the distance. No, that's that's Evan. Oh. Ian? (laughs) Ian. So many messages. Hey, hey, bitch. It's your time to shine. Oh, uh, what? I'm, I need Ian. Oh. They said my name. He's probably talking to Molly. Tell Bryce to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, when 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 I need him, it's the time that he's vanished. I'm sorry. What is this? What? This has nothing to do with the conversation, but that mm. I have a question. I've seen what that I, before. <laughs> if I am a Warforged artificer, can you do that? Yes. War uh, campaign character. No, I was looking for Carol would definitely recruit someone like that. <laughs> Where's Ian? Ian Suave. <laughs> He did. He did. All right, he did. We'll come we'll back get, to this. We'll get to the phone call later, then. We'll, we'll get to the we'll phone call later. later. Okay, so, Chesra, I assume you're heading up to the uh, the scene of the crime? Mm. Let's see here. Uh, Is there anyone at the front desk? Yeah, if anything, how many people are, like, populating this hospital? I'm assuming it's pretty busy right now. There's cops kind of walking all over the place. You do see uh, there are a few people waiting for appointments. Okay. Um, and at the moment, you can tell that uh, the staff, those like the nurses and doctors that are here, seem to be busy, mm -hmm. either assisting police, uh, assisting patients. They don't really seem to be um, able to really take the time for people that aren't doing appointments at the moment. They seem to be kind of running about. Cool. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to look at the records themselves. That's going to be fun. For oh, now, we... Flint mentioned where the record rooms are. Will you be able to navigate back to them? Probably. If I saw it the other day, then... Maybe, perhaps, I can find it again. Yeah. Uh, I guess, what would I do? Investigate for where the record room is <laughs> you would have an idea because you you had gotten near there you weren't allowed in at the time but you got you were close yeah um i will say if you want to try to sneak there uh let us look upon the different roles and i want to know how you try to sneak there Let, let's do that let's why you why look at this describe on how you want to try to get there okay hmm what do you mean? We walk like we we're meant to be there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Walk like we I'm walk with there. purpose. Uh, I'm not walking. I don't want to try and walk anywhere towards the the crime scene because that's probably going to be swarming with cops. Um, yeah, that's on the third floor. So you, you're let's see. Right. Uh, ch -ch 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 I guess I'd, you know, walk with a purpose, kind of navigate through the various signs without trying to get obviously tagged as, you know, somebody that's on a mad dash for <laughs> information. Uh, I guess, I don't know, if I do see anybody that seems to recognize me, I don't know, I'll, you know, flash him a smile, flash my little ID card or whatever, and just be on my way. Before uh, under stress. Okay. I I don't know, uh, you know. Cesare is doing his own thing. Saul's walking with a purpose. <laughs> you okay. roll. You roll one as uh, well. You roll performance is, stress as well. He is places to be in documentation. That is a ten. Okay. Uh, what am I? What is it? A fate? Oh, no, a charisma? Uh, under perform under pressure is a composure unless you have an ability beyond that. Or composure? Wait, yeah, what? it's com it, perform under stress is is composure. Oh, I thought it was freaking. Oh, I thought it was charisma. Okay, well, no. I'll, uh, that's that's cool. All right, that's a plus one then. That's eleven. Oh, you still you still did well. <laughs> Yay! Sounds this like guy. you did well regardless. Like, show up. Show up. I got a nine. Okay, you both do well. Um, you, you both did very well, actually. Um, you make your way towards this kind of room. Um, and kind of, you, you manage to slip into the records room. Um, no one really notices. Uh, or at least no one you saw noticed. You sneak in. Um, you find there is a computer. Looks to be relatively old. And a numerous number of filing cabinets. <laughs> mm. is there a login page on the screen or is it turned on or there is a login it has 
uh, it looks that it needs a card to slip into the keyboard, and then a password okay. to be put in. Are the filing cabinets in alphabetical order? Um, roll me investigation. Or investigate. Bro, how retarded am I? It's <laughs> Well, it's there's a number of them. I'm seeing how quickly you'd be able to do this. I got a seven. A seven. Okay, you get to ask me one of the questions for the investigate thing. Which is, where's, huh? the, where's the thing you seek? Is there any... Uh, I, actually, look at the player page. There is the list of things that, like, the questions you can ask me. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? I'm sorry. Uh, I, it, what like, category? Hold up. No, I can, I can command F. Just it's what under, category? So click, go to the summary on the left, hit actions, and scroll down to investigate. Oh my god, there is. Wait. Are you saying player guide? Yes. Actions. Oh, evade, evaluate, investigate. They're in alphabetical order. Oh. <laughs> Where's the thing I seek? What kind of alarm traps? Is there anything hidden? What the hell is, what is the history of what I see? I just of, want to... Yeah, you, you're, you're looking for where is the thing you seek. I just, like, these, I'm, I'm just telling yeah. you these questions just because... Where, where is the thing I think... I, I could elaborate on more. I was going and seeing if it's alphabetical order, and then I was just going to check yeah. everyone's so, name. Looking, I was going to see if anyone... Looking through the different it. filing cabinets, you find there's numerous different labels. There is... Um, some of them seem to be organized. There seems to be a series of filing cabinets for active patients. There seems to be ones for past patients. There seems to be one for the deceased. Um, and there's a number of other categories. You, Using your intuition, you figure out that it's probably in the deceased area by this point. <laughs> um, I don't know how you got there, but you got there. Uh, oh, I would gesture uh, Cesare to that folder i'm going to active and past patients and i'm looking for Cesare, dusk flint kate lumac and luther okay so as what... well as oh and um dutchman and uh white canis or keywords so you would be able to find stuff for other people the white can is specifically you don't have a name so you don't know okay that's a little trickier um okay you show cesare where to look he sorts through he does find within the s's jonathan steins um he finds within the report kind of the same things that flint had told you all like had been administered the hospital has been in catatonic state like pretty much critical the entire time um has not been responsive other things and then now say like there's details of his death of uh killed by unknown origin seems to be feral um dismembered beyond recognition um it has the location of the morgue his body has been sent to which is there's there's like two in town so it's not hard. They're both very close. You had it was a 50-50 chance, but it, you you know exactly what morgue the body has been sent to. Um you can see the contact information within. There seems to be two individuals in particular. Um there is a note under one of them that says difficult to contact or difficult to get a hold of. Uh the other one looks to be a uh, like an employee of a local store that seems to sell kind of outdoor equipment. Um, why is that in there it's contact information okay people to contact by for this person photocopy in here photocopier um yes okay i'm, just, I'm yeah. gonna note down that contact information i'm just gonna photocopy it just photocopy <laughs> put it in my briefcase <laughs> okay so you do you tell chesray to do that um going through files uh for the existing patients um you would be able to find a file for everyone except for Dutchman. I, I, I'm. Is there going to be a lot of information? In which case, would you just be able to send me 
what I would pretty be able much to find. the the information is pretty much things you know, race, a relative age, um, kind of. I get know, the race of everyone. You already knew their races, so like it's nothing new to you. Uh, blood type. It's like basic information. You don't get anything special out of it. Some of them have phone numbers. Some of them don't. Um, actually, sorry. The only one not listed is Lumac. Lumac is also not in there. Um, <laughs> Lumac and Do Dutchman are the two you don't find. I get. I'm just gonna rattle off some stuff, and you just tell me yes or no if they're in there. So, race, blood yes. type, yes, phone number. The ones who have phones, except for Cade. Cade does not have one. Um, hey, yeah, I got a phone. Well, you do now. When this file was made, you did oh, not. Okay. Um, gotcha. They don't have home addresses on them for all of them. Really? Um, the only one that does is specifically Luther. She says that he is currently living at the initiative. Okay. Um, family? Or uh, what should we call it? Not co what, what are you these mean, emer like, like emergency contacts? Yeah, emergency contacts. Um, would, who, who would have emergency contacts? I know Cesare would. Cesare would have his parents on there. I don't know about the rest of you. Dusk would not. Dusk would not. I, no I assume, yeah, I assume Dusk has no one, like, like, he also has tried to, he's also, for the most part, wouldn't have any. Like no medical records because you treat all this shit through the, through like the the contacts. You would you would have your initial like record of like race, blood type, and that's it. Oh like, yeah. You had the initial evaluation. You did not come back. Um. um I wouldn't wouldn't have any contacts. Cade, you just you know who Cade's contact is. There's not like any information specifically pointing to that, but you know. Past visits. How many um, of you go general to the, for all of them? Yeah, how many how many of you visit the hospital occasionally? Flint obviously probably would have semi Yeah, I, I have like regular. an entire binder probably for Flint. Yeah. Flint has semi regular I don't probably have a VPN, bro. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> like so Flint's probably doesn't have anything in his. It's just like, yeah, he he works here and yeah, he's like he's had a few checkups. On Luke has been treated for parasitic. Like, like on file. You've had checkups. Like there's nothing of okay. concern on any of these or like any kind of special information. It's just like, yeah, he's had checkups, he's in good health. Luther just say, has cause... a negative test result for every conceivable disease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lu Luther's is the one that is a full binder. And it's just like <laughs> negative test, negative test, negative test, negative test. And there's just one positive test in there. <laughs> okay. Inconclusive. Inconclusive test. Yeah, I was going to say inconclusive, it and it was like a mental bad. test of some sort, and it was just inconclusive, <laughs> and it just like, I we don't like know. All of, all of my medical diagnoses would be inconclusive, and they just don't want to act on any of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a that single test Luther for worse. Except leprosy is negative. <laughs> the, only, the only one that's positive on there is a test for parasite, and they didn't even run the test. <laughs> they didn't have to. They they didn't... Knew. Like he's got a parasite. There's parasite. There's just a check mark beside it. It's just tutter. Someone drew a little picture of a mouse next to it. You know. <laughs> any any just any general useful information now? Other than what you have, no. There's just it's basic medical records. There's nothing special here. All right. Everyone seems to be in pretty good health. Luther's well, kind of out of the fence, and that's but, special, you know. Chesra, you get uh, you get what you needed. I just literally no man could have done this. To understandable. Him. Can uh, you can you pass me a copy real quick? <laughs> yeah, I pass him this copy. I'm it's just the, I'm gonna put the paper in the the briefcase, and then is it like those tiled ceilings? Yeah. I'm gonna pop the ceiling up, just yeet the briefcase down in there somewhere, just so I'm not holding it anymore. <laughs> and then just put it back up and go, all right. Um we, we wanna go up, we want to like explore more, we wanna burn down the document room, take a piss. What are we doing? 
Take a piss in the burn down document room. I think is your best bet. We're just gonna have to get going. Are we not gonna go at least? Uh, we got the place of the morgue, so we could go check that out. We know where the body is. Hmm. Hmm. Everything honestly relies on just going and investigating the campsite from where he came from. <sighs> I really wish I had a new companion. Uh -huh. I wonder if there's any, like, dying people here. <laughs> hey, we're all dying. Just, a, you know, very slowly. Um, oh, fun. Some people are dying more on the inside than the outside. Yeah, they, they, uh, Saul would kind of just gesture to his, like, corpse-like state and go, I am aware. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <All> right. <laughs> Let, let's 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 get out of here. Yeah. Agreed. As you do kind of start making your way to the door, uh that tile that you had pushed up falls from the ceiling and snaps in half. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Yes, we already started with it. And he's he's gonna reach in for his lighter and realize he gave it to Tutter and just go. Oh, <sighs> Never mind. And just continues walking. Okay. You head yeah, out. It's time. No one seems to question you as you kind of go out. Uh, there's one or two people that kind of give you an odd look of just like, oh, well, yeah. what were they doing over? <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. Damn. No, 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 no. <laughs> walked by with ramen. <laughs> Is there uh, any like easily swipeable police badges no. on the way out? Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. Well, you guys make your way out. Just laying the around. Um, is dusk back? Yeah. Phone right, call phone time. Call. Uh, yep. Saw your All phone right, rings first. Before before phone ring. Uh, <laughs> where is my my pet? Sorry, I, I, uh, I you you had sent material. you had sent them off to go investigate something. Okay, cool. Let's make it sure. All right. Oh uh, yeah, phone call. Uh, Saul speaking. How can Such I help you? Little bitch. No, just kidding. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I kind of like that. <laughs> um, go, uh, yeah, what's happening, Saul? This is dusk. Just, um, I want to see what, uh, what you're doing right now. Oh, speak of the devil, you are alive. <sighs> devil yet. Uh, well, uh, you know, just, just following up. We were... We, uh, Chesray and I, went uh, to just uh, investigate on the hospital, see if we get some more information on our, uh, you know, puddle friend. Uh, Got the hospital. location of the morgue, but we're gonna head off towards the campsite. Well, how about you guys? What are you? What are you? Well, are you by yourself? No, you I'm a, the rest of the bunch. Grand old band of misfits, and uh, hey, seems like the well, hospital's so... quite the uh ravage subject if you know what i'm saying um yeah yeah you know what uh what'd y'all find out anything uh interesting we know uh, where the campsite is and we know about we not much honestly yeah i i, I saw would be holding the phone up between him and chesre so you could both talk um dusk would not dusk would literally just be his ears only at this point <laughs> uh it's funny we are aware that, uh, you know, Jonathan was a vampire and has now been reduced to a puddle. Um, what exactly was the the state of his body described as? Um, mangled beyond recognition. Uh, there was a, other... there w there was a small note of look to have almost been pushed through a grinder or a wood chipper. Oh, yes, the wood chipper bandit. <laughs> <laughs> the wood chipper bandit. He snuck a wood chipper into the hospital and silently <laughs> killed the man. Yeah, hey, so man, I once... Like my buddy uh, Eric said that a few dice. times. Excuse me? No, no one's talking to you. <sighs> it's, like a, it's like a really bad, you know, slice and dice up in there. Not pretty. Um, was hoping, you know, maybe talk to him. But uh, it doesn't look like I'm able to do anything on that front understandable do well, any of uh, us know jonathan no like through anybody no sounds like a bitch 
Damn. He's gonna. Adam. He's gonna kind of um, like uh, look at you and get us back on like subject to be like, so y'all. But he's gonna kind of brush past it. He's gonna be like, so the campsite. Y'all said you knew where it was. Yes. You don't know hundred percent. Right. You know where he was found. You don't know where the campsite is specifically. Yeah. What? Oh. I'll look back to the guys and um, well, I think we got a location. Might um, have to reconvene and um, do a little investigation. I'd be interested. Um, question for DM. Campsite. Is there a graveyard along the way? Can't I desecrate bodies along the way? Yes. Or make one. Whatever comes first. Let's go. All right. Are you all planning to interject and reconvene elsewhere? Yeah. Yeah. Ask your question. Yeah. Oh, the the graveyard where you know that he was found is not near the graveyard. The so the morgue along the way. The morgue is behind the hospital, opposite the way that you would be walking God if you wanted to meet with. Damn him. it! All right. Trying to see if I can get a better companion. Oh, uh, okay. uh, yeah. All right, we'll we'll head towards the uh, the camp. Do you guys want to meet up somewhere? Yeah, I think that would be uh that would be a pretty good idea. And he's gonna kind of explain it everything with just what he talked about in the group. Well, not everything. He's just gonna say that we're meeting them at the campsite. Okay, those of you that are with Dusk, discuss. Uh, uh, sorry, what is Dusk? What is Dusk? He explained that, that. Oh, you got it. Well, yeah, all right. you so fucking munching on that cereal, dude. I'm it's <laughs> awesome. Let me <laughs> tell you, he fucking that shit up. <laughs> oh, eating that shit like it's my last meal in prison. Um, so pretty much, I'm explaining to them um that uh, um, they were at the hospital and. They figured out where potentially the guy got killed. Um, didn't really find much out, and that um, we're gonna go there. And so he kind of is like, you know, preposition. We meet up with them and we investigate further. Sounds good to me. Cool beans. Right. The Dutchman ever give me anything else to do? No, he said if you want to follow the lead, you can. But I got nothing for you right now. He said he was taking care of Ryan today. Okay, and it, I guess am I. Did he want me to continue the intel to give him more intel, or was he fine with the stuff that I presented? Um, I think the way you would have kind of taken it is the intel that you gave him was fine, but he definitely would like more. If yeah, you could like get more. more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna notion to the the crew um, to go um, go do some investigation. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. If there's no RP involved. Uh, you all begin to head out. Um, and as, as you kind of kind of go, um, as you kind of like make your way down the street after leaving, you do, uh, one or two of you would kind of glance back and notice that uh, Dutchman and the uh Candace individual seem to be heading towards the hospital. Um, having a he, it seems to be a one way conversation at the moment of Dutchman talking to the individual, them not really responding, them just kind of keeping their head down, um, before disappearing out of sight from you. Um, all of you meet up kind of on the edge of town. Um, the area that you that was reported to have where he was found. Um, it's kind of out of the way for most things. Um, you know, there are a few places that are around like the mountains that like people go to. This is not near any of those places. This is kind of almost, it, it, it's near the water treatment plant, which is kind of on the edge of town, kind of away from everything else. Um, the, the spot that, was noted that you have in the, the report um, that you kind of go to 
it, it's about five six hundred meters from the edge of the water treatment plant you can see a spot that um the cement in this area still has a kind of pinkish crimson kind of tint to it where like blood had soaked into it and like dried and stained it um all of you kind of standing around this point just kind of looking at this spot Uh, I'm going to roll the 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 blood hunter. Okay. You get down and start sniffing the blood, I assume. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, yo, what the dog doing? <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I got a seven. I don't think that gets me shit. Um, give me a moment. With a seven, if I'm looking at your thing Caught correctly. the scent and are able yeah. to find the source or at least no source before smell is over. You, you catch by a other scents. you catch a very, very faint scent. Um it's old. You can definitely tell it's very old, but it's just enough there for you to catch. Um, kind of leading you uh kind of up into the mountains. I'm gonna start walking. Yeah. So, um, the the cat's trailing it's, somewhere. It's in It's some the distance vicinity. away. It's kind of keeping its distance and watching. Okay. Um. Saw making perception and metagame. No, just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> perception and metagame. <laughs> well, I didn't even. Do I have to roll a stealth for the cat? I don't even know how that works. The cat kind of blends in right now just because it's far enough away. It's not... You told it I to actually, keep distance. I actually would like to roll a perception. I'm sorry. Just because well, right. we did see a bunch of blood. Uh, you want to evaluate the scene? Is that the one you want? Yeah, evaluate the scene. Yeah, roll your evaluate the scene. <laughs> if he does see a cat, it's just... Yeah, yeah. you see blood on the ground. There's trees. Uh, there's a cat. And... Uh, It'd be a dead don't... cat, wouldn't it? Like, clearly uh, mangled? Oh, no. I mean, I put a bullet through it. But now it looks Gucci. Oh, it's not. It's like there's no. Didn't you say it was like like it, it has like... it has the bullet hole, but it's like if you were to stuff like it's closed up. It, it's it's kind of, it's like closed up, but it's not scarred over. There's no skin over the spot. It's still like the fleshy red. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. What do I roll? Um, evaluate the scene is an instinct based role unless you have something that lets you do otherwise and I would check the evaluate the scene in the player guide so that you know exactly so what questions you're What's the dice roll? Is it a 12? 2d6. Yeah. 2d6, that's right. Everything is 2d6. Yes, you yeah, I thought it was. I just else. could not remember. Uh, where's my d6? There it is. Alright. <clears throat> no, I think it should be instinct. Yes. Um, you said instinct, right? Yeah. yeah, and I would go in the player guide because if you roll successfully, you have questions you can ask me. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Let me look at my I six plus one. Wow, that is a five. So I did not roll successfully. You are oblivious to things. Um, you just kind of look around. You don't really notice anything in particular. Just kind of. This kind of open area, kind of on the edge of town, before it kind of uh, rolls into kind of a field that leads up towards this mountain that uh, Sola is walking up right now. He's kind of oh, walking I would have path. summoned my briefcase back as well. Just yes. one. Okay. Yeah, you're. you're that, Saw no. is walking up the hill with the briefcase, sniffing the air. I kind of noticed that he's sniffing the air. You would be able to tell. It's not. He's not hiding it. Okay. You know, man's man's like taking big whiffs. Like, uh, what you smell there, buddy? Uh, <laughs> yeah, crack cocaine. I don't know. What do you think? Blood. I assume so. What? Uh, can you identify it? I uh, not really. Uh, Oi. The. Puppet master. You're a vampire. Uh, yeah. 
He's gonna kind of like gesture with his hands, like the come on, do the thing. Aren't you also a vampire? Yeah, but I'm having some trouble right now. You know, the coke's blocking one nostril, and the bullshits in the other. So uh, that's what all right. You... I would sweat it, buddy. Performance what issues you... happen to everyone. What are you trying to do? Holy shit! Can I'm I? I'm sorry. I'm on level. I'm on level two of snake. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> you, you <laughs> keep... Flint would be like looking over his shoulder, watching him play as well. Just be like, oh hell yeah, he's doing this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would look yeah. over and just be like, no, don't. Why did you fucking turn that way? <laughs> no, you're <laughs> trapping yourself. You ever see those ads when people are playing games and they're playing it terribly? Very, oh, very. I, badly, that's what yes. Luther's doing. I despise <laughs> all of those ads. <laughs> He's just, you know what, fine. You you keep playing your snake. And then he'd uh, lift lift the arm that Tutter is on. And go, are you able to to help out here? Or does he have to actually do it? I don't want to break his concentration, you know. God forbid he bites himself. What what are you attempting to do here? I actually don't even know. Oh, the, the blood hunter. The blood hunter. You one of your yeah, one of your race actions. Oh. Oh, to track a scent of yeah. blood specifically. Of blood. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Technically, you have a canine. I don't think you want me to do that. I don't think you want me to do that. Is Tutter doing it? Uh, I don't think you want me to do that. <laughs> you rolled like <laughs> below a six. Didn't you roll with instinct. So. I, listen, uh, I'm gonna tell you a number. I don't think you're gonna like it. It's gonna be right? a two. Uh, technically, it's a three. <laughs> but I rolled snake eyes. <laughs> Damn. It makes sense because he's playing snake. You know. Yes, he's it's... playing snake. All it, right. He yeah, goes it's... to like sniff for a second, like just like a bead of snot rolls out his nose. <laughs> It's all right, never mind. I right. it, it, it's up this direction somewhere. I got a general location. Okay. You continue to walk. Uh, the rest of you following behind. Yeah. Does anyone have anything they would like to say? Why this is happening? Hold on. Am I there? Do you want to be there? You would have seen them. I. Later. I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay. I, you know. I don't know what's happening. I I just associated for like an hour or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a feeling you've been quiet. <laughs> yeah, I did too. That's why I was like, what is going on? I disassociated for an hour. I assume we're traveling to go find whatever monster put that guy in the hospital. Yeah, campsite. Okay. You said there's blood on the ground? There was a little bit, yeah. yeah. I don't uh, even. Rem- I, wanna... I, I don't even remember what abilities you have, Jared. It's it's dry blood, so it's not like something you could use for what you're thinking of. No, but it's still DNA, ain't it? Technically, I get. If you want to scrape it out of the concrete because it's like a stain, you can. can do that. Okay. I got claws. Okay. The rest of you are walking as Lumac just kind of crouches down and starts scratching as the as scratching at the concrete. Would we notice? You would hear it. I'm just, I'm just gonna watch. What are you? What are you speaking like? What is it? I'll, I'll nudge Dusk and just kind of point and go. Yeah, you think he's he's tweaking? I'll be honest with you, man. I don't know what he's thinking. Look at after, him go. after a few yeah. seconds of you doing this, you do get kind of like a handful of like pinkish crimson concrete dust. I'm just gonna rub it on the doll. <laughs> Okay. Go watch him rub this doll with this concrete powder that he has just acquired. Is, is, is just gonna look over f- like, uh, hey, uh, buddy, what you, uh, what you doing? And I give him two finger guns, kind of like a, you good? I'm just, I'm just gonna ignore him. Does it, does it work? Do I, do I get the tokens? You get a sensation from it that it's not sticking. Mainly because the one it would be associated to is not exactly able to be affected. 
Like, it's there. Oh, okay. Like, you have the tokens, but they don't do anything. Like, you mm. feel there's, like, a uselessness to them. Like... Oh, well, and I'm just going to continue walking. Okay. All right, so... Someone has uh, a little bit of the, the tism moment. Let's continue. Okay, you continue to... You follow the scent of blood further up into the mountain. Um... And you kind of get to a clearing, kind of once you're near, like, between two of the peaks in this kind of forested area. Um, you find a kind of torn, like, hunting jacket, almost, like a, like, our outdoory jacket, kind of like the camouflage outdoor jacket. Um, you find it, a one that's been just torn to ribbons, and that's kind of where the scent ends. Their footprints. Um, you can see um, as it has rained recently. You don't really see any footprints. It's been a while since the the individual's been out here. The fact that this is still here is probably a miracle of some sort. But Mister, and... mm. is there anything else of interest in the area? You want to roll for it? I'm not going to keep asking you to roll, but you want to roll for it? <laughs> There's evaluate the I mean, scene. I, you can ask me to evaluate the scene and how you do it and I, tell me how you do it. I, 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 man, I got to tell you how to do it. Yeah, I thought this was like tell auto you. film. All right. All right. I'll evaluate the scene. Are we, uh, so there's a torn up jacket? Yeah, it's been torn to ribbons. <clears throat> do I see anything before I like evaluate the scene? Is there anything like No, you just see the jacket. Okay, where is the jacket? Like, is it? Hung it's up just kind of. The it's kind of on the ground, uh, kind of like beside some like bits of like broken twigs and branches. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll go up and check to see if I can detect like um. Do I have to tell you how now, or do I just tell you? Explain how, how you want to like look around. Like, what are you doing to? Yeah, I'm gonna, take I'm gonna pick scene. up. I'm gonna look at the jacket and we'll see the tatters and see if I can see any like rigid like marks. Um, to see, like, if I could see, like, if it's, like, slash marks or anything, if I can count fingers or anything like that. Um, okay, with that, if you want to, if you want to look closer at the jacket to try to learn something. Yeah. Um, investigate. Okay. Fuck you, fuck you that, guys. Uh, Tell him to shut the fuck up, Evan. He's already gone. What a bitch. Oh, off his wits. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right. Escape. Oh. Unless you have a skill to make it do something else, because I think there are every class. It's an eight. That's an eight? Yeah. yeah. One question you can ask me. Um, it could be just pretty. It's good. Does it have to be general or? Could it it's be it's on the list. It, you all need to have the player guide open to look at these lists, bro. <laughs> all right. I got it. I'll Don't worry. I have it open. Yeah. yeah investigate. There's Where a, is the a thing I seek? There's a is there any there. kind of alarm or trap? Here, is there anything it. hidden? There you go. Like... I got it. I got it. Let's fight. General right. Kenobi. There you go. Action. And these All questions right, um... expand a lot further than like what you would initially think. You just have to pick the right one. If that makes sense. Like there's a, there's a number of them that are applicable. If they're not applicable, I will let you pick a different question. But. <sighs> What is the, I guess, what is the history of what I seek? Okay. Kind of evaluating this thing and kind of, you know, giving it a look. You've had experience with um, people traveling with, you know, finding clothing of, like, those who might lose it whenever in some sort of fray, things of that nature. <coughs> you get an idea from this jacket. Um, this thing was probably the thing that ended up keeping him alive for the time. It seemed to have probably been the thing that tore up, got torn up more than he did. And looking at it, kind of getting an idea of what it's been through, uh, it, it almost looks like a wild animal got a hold of it. Yeah. The claw Fair marks claw look mark. to be razor sharp. This thing looks to have been torn to ribbons. There's a bite mark or two through it. Um, what kind of jacket is it? Like a... Like a what are, what are they? Ny like a nylon hunting jacket type thing? Like the really nice like outdoor jackets that are like, they're made to keep you cool but keep you warm at the same time sort of thing? Where it's like, 
kind of explain it. I, I have one of these jackets, but it's like they're really good for both winter and kind of like nighttime summer kind of situations where it's like I don't I don't know how to explain it other than that, but like it's a nice jacket and it looks to be it looks to have been pretty durable until it experienced certain things. Um but mm. I want to evaluate the scene as well while he's doing that. Okay. I got a seven. Ask me one of the questions. Oh, fuck. Um, is anyone watching us? Give me a second. Okay, anyone watching you? You kind of look around, kind of a little skeptical of everything. Um, you don't see a, like, there, obviously there's animals around that seem to be uh, intrigued by your presence. You see kind of up in one of the trees, there's a hawk that seems to be kind of eyeing the, the group of you, just kind of watching you for a moment before kind of taking off and heading off on its own. Uh, there's a number of squirrels running around. Um, other than that, though, you don't see people in particular or any signs of, like, someone watching. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, anyone I'm just, else? I'm just looking around. I'll... Anyone else want to do something? I might go off a little bit and see if I could get the uh, the cat to like sneak over. Okay. Anyone else want to do anything while uh, Saw kind of wanders off a little bit? Uh, I guess I'd try to try and, I don't know, recreate some sort of crime scene in my head. Yeah, I'm gonna. Can I roll evaluate the scene, see if I can find anything of interest other than the jacket around? Yes, yes, you can. Some sort of scuffle occurred here, but I need to know like how this person was was you know taken down. Whether it was by surprise or whether it was something that kind of boiled over time. Like, are there any? I don't know. I got an unnatural twelve. Unnatural 12. It. So you have two questions for the evaluate the scene that you can do. Alright, I'm gonna let Chris continue speaking while I choose my questions. I was just gonna say, like, what type of... I don't know, how many people could have been here when this occurred? Hmm, if you're trying to recreate it in your head... So if you press R1, you can go into detective mode. <laughs> yes, uh... <laughs> You, I, I will give you a choice. Read the evaluate the scene and read the investigate. You could pick one. Chris, I mean not Chris, Tyler. Yes. Can I alter one of the questions very slightly? What question? <sighs> um, the last one. The are are there signs of something passing through? I want to ask: Are there signs of anything else passing through? They would. That would just be included. If there's something passing through, you would be able to tell. Um, I have a question. Yes. I have my two questions, but can just... I combine Tutter and Luther's stats <laughs> to get a bonus? Two heads are better than one, baby. Um, if you have that skill, I'm pretty sure that's a skill. Is that a skill? I can't remember. It should be a skill if it's not. Um, yeah, uh, companion senses. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Uh, I rolled an 11 then. You rolled an 11. What are you doing? For, for um, what is it? Hold on. Uh, evaluate the scene. Okay. Let's go to. You think about your questions. Cade. Yeah. What are your questions? Is there anything hidden away, and are there signs of something passing through? So looking about, kind of taking in the scene, kind of re-kind of 
reenacting this in your head a little bit as you kind of look around, trying to figure out things. Um, you notice uh, off to the side, there looks to have there looks to be a set of trees that have very deep claw grooves within them, um, as well as a bit of blood splattered against these grooves. Um, and kind of making your way over to it, um, you do see kind of on the ground, uh, there looks to be a bone or two. Specifically the bone of probably oh, a finger. Um, kind of like two of these bones that are just kind of sitting on the ground. Looks like a finger or two had been bitten off and had been left there and is like, there's like decaying or like the last remnants of like the ending of like the decompo decomposure process of like flesh kind of around these bones. Um, you can see there are like ants and a few grub or not grubs, uh, like maggots around the spot. Um, and kind of looking around kind of recreating it. It looks like whatever did this came through this area of attacking the individual before, then making its way further into the mountains, kind of going the opposite direction of the town. As you as you kind of look up, you do see like there's a a small like decent sized sapling that has been like knocked over. Kind of that's a little out of sight from like the main area everyone is. There's a sapling that's been knocked over, and a uh, a trunk that like an old decaying like hollowed out trunk that looks to have been like busted. To show, like, something exiting through, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now for Luther. You got I'm your two questions? point that out to everyone. Okay. <laughs> Do you ask, are you going to? Or He is. He is. That's what he said. He said he is to, I said, Luther, what are your questions? And he said, I'm going to point that out to everyone. Oh, okay. Luther, what questions do you have about this mystery? <laughs> Luther? All right, that's it. I get to ask him. He muted. Oh, he muted. Oh, he unmuted. Here. I think his Discord broke. Oh, I saw him go green. No, my my mic was being fucky for some reason. Oh, okay. Um, I was saying I'm probably going to reiterate questions, but I just want to know... Um, if there was anything else around that could help us discern, like if there was more than one person or if there was uh, some kind of weapon involved. Okay. Um, kind of, if you're reiterating Maybe the same... a blood splatter analysis. Kind of reiterating, you're, you're saying like the same questions as Kate had asked? Kind of, yeah. Okay. So, reiterating on that, you kind of noticing the things he's noticed. Um, you get the idea from this. There are probably the creature that has been described involved and the one dude. There does not seem to be signs of additional scuffles. There does not seem to be any other thing that this thing was after at the time. It seems to just be these two big clues on what had happened here. All right, not everybody at once. <laughs> yeah, this is your chance to RP. You're all kind of standing around. Uh, I'm, all right, so did my cat get to me? Uh, your cat would get to you. You'd be off to the side. Uh, the cat kind of wandering up. Would I be able to re-roll it to see if I could get something better? With the cat? Well, yeah. You, you've heard everything the others have said. No, no, I meant raise my companion. Oh, no. Once it's raised, you don't. You, you have to get a different companion. Oh, so if I were to drop it and then try to grab it again, it wouldn't work? No. Uh, it doesn't say that in here. Damn. That's what I was trying to do. All right. Um, I'm going to 
go. I'm gonna ask it to go check out. I'm gonna tell it to go up into that uh, further area into the mountains that they had been talking about before we go. Just scout around. One second. Everybody, please bathroom. Okay, what did you ask me? Sorry, I was... I want to send the cat up into the direction that um, the they had mentioned that the creature had probably went just before we go. Okay. You, Free scout. The cat kind of runs off to go investigate. Uh, it's gone for like a good five, ten minutes. Slowly kind of it, it like ends up coming back to you um, and just kind of sits in front of you. Meows once. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll say um, meow once if it's clear up there. Twice if it's not. Meows once. Uh, is there any other signs of a scuffle? Yes or no? It meows twice. Oh, there's no sign of a scuffle? Okay. Outside of the area that you're you're at? No. Like where it went and looked? No, there was nothing. Any other signs of life? Or past signs of life? Uh, Once is yes, two is no. Uh, it is... It meows twice. Hmm. I'm back. Okay, then I'm just gonna put it on, carry it on my shoulder. Okay. So what what happened exactly? Um, I'm very nonchalant. He now has a cat that has a like gun wound in it. A, a new one? It's the, oh, it's, he's he's got the okay. It's the one cat. You just haven't uh, seen it yet. By the way, what color eyes does this cat have? Because when you resurrect a creature, they all have the same eye color. Your magic takes on a certain color. When it when it comes to doing that, the the eye color is always the same for you. Um, like that emerald green. Okay, so yeah, this cat with like these not like neon bullard. Well, they're they're like, slightly like bright. Green yeah, eyes. it's like yeah. shimmering neon green or emerald green. Sorry, not neon. Shimmering <laughs> emerald green. It's strange for a cat. It's not normal for a cat. All right, so we, so where where exactly are we? So you just got the cat, and we're just still sitting. Yeah, in the, you're all in the standing port. there, kind of evaluating this. Um, it's it, you have no idea where I got the cat from, but yeah, I got a cat. <laughs> just gonna look at him like, so uh, you're gonna mention the cat? I mean, you know what? What can I say? You know, pussies love me. Uh, hey, yo. Apparently. Okay, um, so anybody gonna discuss that we, you know, shredded coat, things probably out here somewhere? There's nothing else up farther. Not that I could tell. Okay, so let's put on our sleuthing like hats, everybody. Animal. We got a shredded coat that clearly looks like it was done by some very sharp claws. We also got fingies. I will make a note to you yeah. real quick. It is nearing the end of the day by this point. You guys have spent a lot of time doing stuff. Um, yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably. I, honestly, how how big is it? Go. I might just grab it and take it with us. Someone it's, take the fingers. You as could well. you could hold it in one hand. Like there's not much of this coat left. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it and um, take it back with us. Uh, there was some sort of evidence. All right, I would just. We've reconvened in the morning. Everyone got some rest. Yeah, it's been quite the wild day. I'm um, 
gonna need a little bit to recoup. <laughs> out, out of character, I am exhausted right now. <laughs> I think everybody is for some reason. I'm so. Tired. It's it's been a long week. I have not slept well, but. Okay, so you all finish up your little investigation here. Um, are you disbanding once you guys get back to town? Yeah, I think so. At least okay. Dusk is. Dusk is probably going to go back to Black Market. Well, he's probably going to... Um, <clears throat> would, um... What's his name? Still uh, be out? Um, Hutch? Or Dutch? Dutch. Sorry. Um, you would know that he's going to spend the time just... he you you Based on what he told you and how you kind of got the idea from him. He is going to be by Ryan's side probably the entire day. Okay. Uh, making sure that everything is done for Ryan that needs to be done today. Gotcha. Oh. Um, uh, what time usually does Dutchman want me to leave the initiative? He doesn't care as long as you, you know, are like doing your job around there, which you do. Um, you can stay there as long as you, like, you have hours you're supposed to help for so long during the day. Um, but it's, it's mainly just, like, you're kind of on call for people. And they know that a lot of the people there don't care for you, so, like, they're still paying you as if you were anyone else. Knowing that you're not able to do as much work as someone else. Because you're not being asked to by the, the initiatives, or the, the runaways. That are there, so he doesn't. He doesn't care. You could go back if you wanted to, and you could spend. <laughs> you have a room there, and you could spend the night there. Not matter. Like they have a place sure. for you there, because Seal and uh, Gabe have purposely made it that way, so that you could have a place to stay there if you need something. There. I'm gonna head back to the initiative, but I'm not, not for the intention to stay there. Okay, you head um, back. Where is everyone else heading? I'm probably um, going to go back to the... Um, or I, I might take the jacket to um, the Dutch, um, the torn up thing. Or, you know, if he, if I can't really find him, I'm probably going to put it in his office in the initiative if it's open and then go back to the black market. Okay. But you know what? No. You know, I don't think I will. Tyler, <laughs> I will message you something. Anyway, continue. Okay. A lot of whispers tonight. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. I've been answering a lot of messages tonight. Is there uh, any feathered animals that I could get my hands on slash ring neck? A dove. You wouldn't hurt such an innocent creature, would you? Doves are stupid and will what walk up to, to people. What do I have to do? I like pigeons. Pigeons, pigeons and doves are in the same category. Pigeons and doves will just walk up. I know they are. Yeah. Are there not crow as well? Crow is not going to come towards you. Crows ain't stupid. Might. Um. Okay, you... I'll 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 bait a pigeon. You'll bait a pigeon. Okay, you'll do. You're going to do that stuff. Are you trying to switch companions? Yeah. I'm not going to make you roll anything for this. Just roll the normal companion thing, because you'd be able to kill a pigeon. It's not hard. Yeah, once once I do this, I'm going to go bury the uh, the cat. Okay, I got 8 plus faith. Yeah, finally. Alright, I got... Um... I got eight plus the two faiths, so ten. Okay. You you know what to do. Pick your effect or whatnot. Uh, okay. Yeah. Do I need to tell you? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just going to do this one. This one. Yes. Okay. Make a note of it. Make a note that your pigeon has that. Um, pigeon. I'm gonna go bury the cat by the manor. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna head to your resting place. Um, mm -hmm. So I guess everyone else is. Wait, what's Cesare doing? Because he's the only Cesare and Flint are the only two that have other places other than the initiative. Other than those who have said they're going to the initiative. 
Jezzeret? I mean, if everyone's going... Oh. Sorry. You're, you're good. If you're talking first, you, you go. If everyone's going to go to the same spot to rest before we go search... I'll I'm not be... going there to rest, but... No, the, this is the end of the day. You already did your search. You guys found clues. Oh, right. Um, it's the end of the day. Like, you could just go home. Like, this is... We're, we're wrapping yeah. up. I'll, pro- I'll probably just have Flint go home, yeah. Yeah, Flint. Flint's the awkward one. I'd feel like he would go home, just like, yeah, I had my, I've had my social interaction for today. I'm going home. I'm gonna go play some video game. <laughs> go build my another. Game is like a video game, oh, trying yes. hard to stage. Yeah, I'll just go back to my apartment then. Okay. Switch into formal gear. Getting ready for your night stuff. Yeah. All right. Um, so the rest of you that are going to the initiative, um, Dust kind of splits off his separate way. Cesare goes his. Uh, Flint I goes. I sent you what I'd be doing. Or, Flint yeah. goes his. Okay. <laughs> the last. I think four, Luther's right? gonna go get a, uh, Luther's gonna get a PC, a little <laughs> laptop. Get a little laptop. Like a shitty laptop. No, he's going to get one of those yoga tablets. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You would barely be able to afford one, <laughs> considering your state at the moment. Damn it. Um, All right, never mind. You, have, you, you, you got your phone, bro. <laughs> you got your little jitterbug. <laughs> he's My gonna, jitterbug. He's going to go play Snake again. <laughs> um, the four of you, um, Cade... Tutter or Luth- Luther, uh, Lumac, and no, it's the three of you. Uh, yeah, the three of you. you. Three of them are going to the initiative. You went off to go bury your cat. Uh, and bird. did you see the, yes, the I did. message? I did. Okay, cool. cool, cool. Um, yeah, yeah. The three of you go back to the initiative. Um, what are you planning to do, Cade, specifically? Um, Talk to Christopher. You're going to talk to Christopher. Okay. You make your way upstairs. Um, actually, before I finish this, Lumac, I, are you just going to go... What are you trying to do right now, Lumac? Um, real quick. So I saw... Would I know who the note talked about? Yes. Would I know that that's... What's his face? Yes. Ryan or whatever? Yes. Do I know if Dutchman and them are still gone? Um, you can look. Yeah, I'll, I'll go do that. Okay. And then Luther, what are you doing? I have nothing else I can do. Just gonna go to your room and hang out. <laughs> I, I get. I I I can't do anything. Okay. The all three of you kind of go upstairs because all of you. The two of you live up there, the last one looking for Christopher. Um, you guys get up there. You do find that Dutchman is sitting at his desk. Um, he looks dead. A little, he, he's been murdered. Bum, bum, Wait, bum. Hold on. No. Uh, I don't remember. Did I talk to Christopher about what Cedric said last session? Yes, you did. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, never mind. Fuck. <laughs> You're not talking to Christopher? Um, no, I'm just going to go and see if anyone needs me then okay yeah you guys come upstairs though there's dutchman sitting at the desk uh he seems to be in the middle of writing in a notebook as you guys come in he doesn't notice you at first um kind of a very a more serious look on his face than normal as he's kind of writing whatever is in this um <coughs> He hasn't noticed you guys come out of the stairwell yet, though. It's the death note. It's dun dun. <laughs> He's been shut up. You didn't, we can't know that. How'd you get my notes? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no, he, yeah, he's just scrolling this notebook, though, and the, the three of you have kind of walked in. The three of who? Uh, Cade. 
Tutter or Luther and Lumac have walked in. Okay. Any words? <laughs> Wait, so what's the general vibe on his face again? He is, looks he has a very serious look on his face and he's like very focused on writing stuff down in this notebook. Is it like serious? Well, I don't want to bother him. Concerned or You can't tell. It's it doesn't look concerned but like he seems to be very in the moment at the moment. Well, then I don't want to bother him. Okay. <laughs> I also do not want to bother him. He seems absorbed in his work. Okay, you all go your separate ways, kind of splitting off. You know what, Tyler, I, I will actually, instead of doing the thing that I told you, I, I will just take it to um to Dutchman. Okay, the you're, then you're there too. We'll, we'll retcon this. You are also there. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to hand him the, the, um, the jacket and uh, just kind of wait for him to look up. As you kind of step into the threshold between like what would be a hallway and like his office space... Like, the moment you step past that gap, the notebook seems to slam shut in his hand. And his eyes kind of, not glare, but he kind of looks up to you. Just like, he doesn't move his head, but he kind of looks up to you for a moment. And it's almost intimidating, even for you. Can I? Um, first, I got to say something. Um, you can continue describing yeah, the scene. He, like. Though, after a moment, he slides this notebook into a desk drawer and kind of almost softens up in expression wise, kind of sits up and kind of goes back to his normal uh, expression on his face. Before, I was going to say, before he can kind of slide the notebook, I want to try to do this quick. <clears throat> well, kind of, I guess, hurriedly. Um, kind of show, try to show him like the shirt before he can do the action and say, uh, I think I found, uh, what, what got our guy. And before I do that, I'm going to roll, I'm going to use morality detector. Okay. And read into his motives. All right, baby, let's go. Oh, and oh, that is a eight. It's an eight. Okay. Um, his motives with this, it seems he has a goal. You can tell he has a goal. Yeah. The goal seems to be more altruistic than anything else. Okay. And Is that altruistic in general, or can I feel that it's altruistic towards us? It's altruistic. You can tell it's a bigger picture type of altruistic. Okay. It's... So it you, you've you've known in the time that you've known Dutchman, he is a, even though he doesn't show it, he is a very altruistic person. He wants to help yeah, people. Yeah, I'm not so much worried about him because I understand he's a big picture guy, but I'm more or less like, is this going to hurt me in the short term? Because I, I trust him in the long term. Yeah, though, he it is a big picture type thing of, specifically, he is looking, you, you, and you know by the information, he's looking into stuff. To better the city. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, uh, I will. Once I realize what he's kind of doing, I'm gonna kind of slow my actions and let him, you know, get comfortable, put his stuff down, and then, you know. Yeah, he slides the wait, notebook wait, in the wait, drawer. Wait. Um, and as he does, you do hear kind of the sound of a lock being turned before a key is pulled from a slot, and then he <coughs> slides it into his pocket and just kind of looks to you and says, uh. Well, before he does that, I was going to say, um, I'm going to look at him and go, uh, Secret Diary, you uh, write about your uh, high school crush? Or, you know, crush. He almost That's seems to do, like, kind of like a snort. Not quite, like, he's amused, but not amused. Somewhere in between. <clears throat> and he's I'm going to kind of look. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, he just He just responds with, if that's what you want to think it is. What's his what's his mood like? He's back to his normal kind of uh, suppressed emotion kind of like he's not he's not in a bad mood. It's not like a it's kind of neutral. Kind of a neutral state. Yeah. And he's not did like he look like resting bitch face. Yes, <laughs> resting he, bitch did face. Did he look like kind of like 
I guess I would say emotional is the word whenever he was doing like like distraught when he was writing. What was the emotion when he was It was extreme focus and I'm trying to think of the other word to use with this. It's like an extreme focus and like It's like He was enraptured by his writing. It's the same face of a person trying to do like there who's very focused who's trying to do like emergency surgery type thing where it's like they have a goal they're trying to save people and they have this goal in mind but they need to focus while they're doing it okay I'm all, and I'm when he and when go. he closed the notebook it was more of a it was almost like staring down a dragon you've just entered the layer of and it, it doesn't want you there and then it snapped back to his normal kind of okay state yeah normal self i got you good I'm going to kind of turn to him and go, uh, what was the, uh, what was the seriousness about? You would have thought Gleam walked into the damn room. Hmm. It's yeah, nothing that concerns you specifically at the moment. If it does at some point, I'll let you know, but I have a lot on my mind at the moment. I gotcha. Well, I think I have something that could concern the both of us and he's going to kind of lift up the jacket then we'll go, um, I couldn't really piece too much together, but whoever made these scratches, ooh, they got some talents. He kind of gives you a nod and kind of gets to his feet and kind of moves around his desk, kind of offering a hand towards the jacket. He's going to, like, like to grab it? Yeah. yeah kind of like asking gonna... for it without saying he wants yeah. it. Yeah, he's um, going to, yeah, obviously pick up on that and hand it over, and he's going to go, um, he's going to say, uh, don't really think it's some sort of weapon. But I also don't think it's a coincidence that we're looking for some sort of mystical dog creature and suddenly someone shows up with what uh, would look like some claw marks. He takes the jacket from you and kind of looks it over for a moment before kind of bringing it up to like the tip of his snout and taking in like the scent of it. And there is a moment you see his eyes kind of go wide and they almost pin shot, like pinpoint. Almost as if, like, hyper-focused all of a sudden again. Yeah. And he almost seems to, like, if he had, like, hackles like a dog, you know they would be standing on end. And you kind of hear his wings, like, shudder. Slight, like, slightly behind him. And he blinks a few times and kind of stares at the jacket for a moment and looks to you and just says, uh, I think I have an idea of, or a little better idea of what's going on now. Is that so? Well, uh, let us in, Sherlock. What'd you figure out? You should not pursue this anymore. Well, that's only making me want to pursue this further. It's your choice, but I warn you if you do pursue this, and he kind of like kind of moves the jack. He says, "You may follow a similar fate to this guy." Are the are the others like close in, or am I just kind of talking to Dutch like one on one? I think the rest of them. Everyone else was gone. Yeah, everyone walked off. They all went their own ways because they didn't want to bother him. And then you were just like, "I'm gonna go talk to Dutchman," because <laughs> you don't care. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of look at him and go. um... You know, I'm gonna, first of all, check to see if the others are around and make sure they're not. And I'm going to look at him and kind of get, like, a little serious. I'm like, all right, Dutch, it's got the shit. Like, what's going on? The thing that you were after, that creature, isn't a normal one, but well, something a lot more dangerous. No shit, Sherlock. You see what he did this damn... I know, it kind of like back of the jacket i'm like that man is that man is lucky that well i say lucky to be alive but he isn't anymore i'm just warning you that if you cut ties to this search now there's a chance this thing doesn't come after you next and is this in any wall related to 
said beast that is dist- that is wh- whatever like it, he's going to explain like the the thing that Dutch obviously asked her to find out about about the thing that's like going after supposedly malicious people it's not the white wolf okay it's the other one that you've mentioned oh uh, okay so not the one that's killing the people trafficking but the one that's I forget the other one. What was the other? The one? other one that had just—it was the rumor of the the Blackford Nolish creature that had That's been right. that had attacked one person so far, but had been spotted multiple times. Okay. All right. So, crazy beast that's not supposed to be pursued. You're really not making me not want to pursue this. It's a recommendation at best. Well, recommendation noted, but I will say. I don't listen to people all that well. That you don't. If you die from this, I'll know why. Well, I think most people will. At least we'll know more about me than you will about that guy. And then it'll kind of, it'll kind of like shrug and be like, "Is there, is there anything else you'd like me to know before I?" Go risking my life, putting my nose into places where it probably shouldn't be. If you decide to drag yourself down this path, I recommend not taking the others with you. Well, it seems like that can't be an issue. They manage to find me wherever I go. I just ask you don't rope anyone who is associated to here into this. Well, you know me. I'll try not to, but can't say the same of my uh, companion of sorts. Right. And as one more thing, if you did drag the others into this and something were to happen to the Cassimia boy, you know his father would be quite upset. Well, he can't be upset at a couple of corpses, now can he? I'm specifically talking about those who will be left to deal with this problem when it's done. Well, I'll make sure I'm not one of those. Mm. Kind of shakes his head and walks over to the, uh, starts walking over to, like, the medical room and just says, I don't say I didn't warn you. Why would I ever? You see him kind of go in and grab like a bag, kind of drops the uh, the shirt into the or the jacket into the bag and kind of ties up the bag, kind of walks it back over to the opposite door, um, the one you would know to be his living quarters, and he kind of opens the door for a moment and kind of tosses it in and then closes the door. And he says, uh, So... Is there anything else you have for me, or is that it? Nope. I'll report back, or I'll be on the news. Either way, it'll be a spectacle. Hmm. I would prefer, as much as, as lovely as our conversations are sometimes, I would prefer you to come back. We'll see about that. I've lived a pretty long life, and many people are uh, looking to get back at some of the things I've done, or haven't done, or have done, but I didn't realize I did. Kind of been a lot of that, but uh, I'll try to take care. I feel like you're more equipped to deal with those than you are with this. Who knows? I'm uh, interested to see what tomorrow has in store for Anyway, it's getting late. I'm sure you have someone to take care of. Take care. He kind of gives you a nod and just kind of stands by his desk watching you leave. He's, he's going to shoot shoot your finger guns. going to shoot him <laughs> finger guns and then uh, he's going to walk away. He just kind of watches as you go out of sight. And... Chesare, do you want to do anything tonight before we end, or...? Mm, nah. Nah? All right. 
I want to say I would just be there for like a few hours, see if anyone needed anything, and just head back home. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So as the night wraps up, all of you finding your resting places, some some later than others. Um, that's where we'll end tonight's session. I think we're having fun with this. I could be wrong. There's been zero. Oh, I'm, 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 I think it's not really that fun, bro. Do better. Damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Damn. I'm enjoying it. I think we're all just fucking exhausted. Dude. Oh, I know. So I understand that. No, I, I think... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the mystery kind of aspect to this is bringing something new to the table that we haven't done That's before. That's cool. I like it. Very RP heavy, but I, I like it. But like you like it. Yes. I want to try to do this and more when like we do actual D&D too, but... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, no, I like the RP. I'm gonna do the outro real quick. So if you guys enjoyed and you want to hear us in future episodes, follow the Twitch, join Discord, or follow us on Twitter for updates when we go live. Um, and if you want to catch previous episodes of either this campaign or other campaigns, go follow the YouTube page and check out the playlist there. We have one finished campaign and a bunch of uh, discontinued campaigns that you can listen to. And uh, we hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one. Peace.